Mom, Dad, I'm back. My beautiful daughter, welcome home. I've missed you so much, my baby. You're welcome, sweetheart. How was London? Dad, London was fun. I didn't really want to come back, but I had to. Knowing fully well how you all have missed me. I missed you too, guys. It's good you came. Couldn't have survived without you in this big mansion. I know, Mom. You're looking so beautiful. When are you going to ever age? Age indeed. Why would she age when she spends more than an average mother should? Please, I better enjoy the money since it's available. My baby, please go upstairs and fresh it up. I will have the maid prepare something delicious for you. Oh yeah. Please do because I'm really famished. She has really grown into a beautiful woman. Yes, honey. I'm so proud of you, Kate. My dear, I'm back, oh. Come back, dear. I'm so glad you came. I was getting bored with this country. I wished I didn't come earlier. I told you to wait a bit, but you were too adamant. Babes, London was fun two weeks after you left. You missed big time. I know. I regretted coming before you. But anyway, Nigeria is fun all the same. You need to try their clubs. They have lots of hot guys around here. You don't mean it. I'm not kidding. You should come over my house one of these days, and I'll take you to one of them I visited earlier. I really can't wait. I'm here now, and there are no dull moments with me. That is why I miss you. You are the real deal, babe. You know me. Kate doesn't dull. So when will you be coming over? Let's see tomorrow. I'll get across to you. Kate the Kate, my Bologna baby. I trust you, babe. Don't forget to bring my share of what it came with. Oh, please. You're my girl, and I will treat you to some shopping when we see. Wow. Thanks, babe. I believe you. All right, babes. Bye. Bye, dear. Baby. Kate, are you in there, my love? Yes, please come in, mom. My baby, are you okay? Yes, of course. I'm fine, mom. Just that I still miss my friends over there in London. I know it must have been hard for you. But please, just bear it over here, alright? Hmm. And I promise to make you really comfortable while you stay here, please, baby. How would I be comfortable, mom? You know that is strict. He won't allow me to live life. Are you forgetting something? No. Yes, you are. You are forgetting that I'm your mother and your father is my husband. I will handle him, my princess. Just have fun and live like a billionaire's daughter. Aren't you the sweetest, mom? I love you. And I love you too, my baby. Mom, I would love to go out tomorrow, get new clothes, and there's this bag I want. Don't worry, dear. I will send in five million naira into your account later on. Five million won't do, but yeah, it's something so I'll manage. You don't have to manage, I will make it ten. Oh, thanks, mom. Welcome, my princess. Please freshen up fast and come over to the dining. Of course. That's it, my good friend. How are you doing? Any. I'm good though. It's been a while we talked. Yes, my friend. You know work has been hectic. You know my manager is sick. I have been running the whole thing myself. Ah, why don't you employ someone else for the meantime? I don't think that would be necessary. My daughter Kate just came back from London a few hours ago. I think she would manage my companies from now on. She's a professional lawyer and she just backed her master degrees. You mean Kate is back from London? Oh wow! My friends, you are lucky. Having a beautiful daughter that is a lawyer is a blessing indeed. Indeed, my brother. I just hope she doesn't disappoint me. I'm sure she won't. Talking like you don't know Kate. Kate is no more a kid. She's a grown lady and I bet she can take care of herself. I hope so. What about Daniel, your son? He's doing well, still managing my companies. Like father, like son. 
money oriented. You must be proud of him. Of course he's a good boy. Send my regards to him and have a good day. You too, my friend. Come in. Tony, my guy, how far now? My guy, I am good. How are you doing? I'm good, though. Just stressed as usual. I can see you are busy with work. Dan, don't you ever rest. You are always stuck in between work. My guy, it's not easy at all. But I have to work, you know. Money doesn't fall from heaven. Oh, spare me that, bro. You and I know that you can decide to stay five years without working. And you will still be able to spend five million each day. <laughs> so I shouldn't work because I have small money. That's not what I am saying. Oh, I mean all works and no play makes Daniel a dull guy. That's your business, Oga. How's work with you? How'd you got the government contract? Congrats, bro. Thanks, my man. It's the Lord's doing. Oh, and that's why I am here. Hey, tell me about it. I am taking you out for lunch. Let's take some time out. I am not taking no for an answer. Hmm. Can I say no before? <laughs> Of course, you can't. So stand up, let's go. Calm down and let me round up with this file. Two minutes. Yes, sir, I'm even done. You are here already. I was going to send a maid to call you. Please sit, my baby. Thanks. How are you settling in? Great, Dad. I will have a car arranged for you just in case you want to go out. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, my dear. Honey, I and your father have come to a conclusion that you should manage our companies for now. Huh? I don't understand, Mom. Dad, is that true? Yes, my dear. So you both wanted me here because of some stupid company? I've barely even arrived, and you already want to bore me with take over my company bullshit. Kate, please calm down. I don't care if it's my father's idea or not. Please don't bother me with taking over any company. I'm not interested. I shouldn't be working my ass out when my parents can sort me out, please. And what's this food I'm seeing here? Guess you don't want me to eat this evening because I won't be caught dying eating that. My princess, please come back. Hmm, you see what your daughter is doing. Let's give her a little time, honey. My God. Hmm. Money is not the problem. Just give me small time. Which one is small time? Please do fast about it. Please now, don't be angry, my baby. I will give you this weekend. I promise. Is it not 10k again? You said weekend, MD. Better send it by weekend if not. She has hung up. Oh. Ah, I need to find the money. Oh. Um. Daddy, who are you talking to? How is that your business? Hmm, in case you are thinking of sending that Auntie Nara money again, just know that we don't have full stocks in this household. Who told you that I want to send Auntie Nora money? Daddy, I don't like that Auntie. -o. Every time, money, money. Doesn't she work? My friend, will you get out of here? What do you know? I have said my own because I heard you talking to her about 10K. I wonder if you are my son because you are sounding like a small fool. Okay, -o. Me, I have said my own. How are you now? Enjoying the country yet? Babe, I can't say. Hmm. My dear, what is it? You look sad. My dear, it's my parents, so they want me, Kate to work in their company as a manager i mean they want me to manage their companies very useless idea 
I should be working my ass out for pennies when I'm their head to everything they own. Eh, that's bad. Why would they want you to stoop so low? Ask me, oh. I was so mad at them. Like, how could they? Calm down and drink up. Forget your old parents. Yes, so. Please, DPO. Yes, yeah, she's my daughter. Then I advise you to come to the station at once. What happened? Is Kate okay? Yes, Chief. She is okay. She was arrested this morning due to the overspeeding, which almost took the life of another person. Hey, oh, this girl will kill me. I'm coming right away, DPO. What happened to my princess? Is she hurt? Your question should be, did she hurt somebody? That daughter of yours needs some motherly discipline. Oh, she is not my daughter only, Abby. Isn't she your daughter too? Like mother, like daughter. Uh -huh. Please, what happened to my baby? Just thank your God that she didn't kill someone. If not... Kill someone? Oh, please, Kate is not a murderer. I didn't train her that way. As if you trained her at all. Please don't say that. I am on my way to the station. I'll be back. Pray the grant her bail. Ha, honey. You and I know you can get her out with just a call. Exactly what you've been teaching her. Rubbish. I am going. Let me come with you, please. You can't come. Sit back and wait for us before you go and make matters worse for me. What is that supposed to mean? That's your business. Ha. God, please save my baby for me. <laughs> Come in. Ah, DPO. How are you doing? Chief, Chief. Good morning, sir. I'm fine. And you? We thank God, though. Um, Chief, your daughter was caught driving on high speed around 2 a.m. this morning, and she almost knocked down a woman coming from the vigil. My men observed that she was under the influence of alcohol. This girl, what was she doing driving at that ungodly hour, drunk? We interrogated her and found out she went clubbing. And we also discovered she is your daughter. That was why I called you. She will join us now. Oh, goodness. Daddy, I know you will come and get me out of this godforsaken place. Will you shut up, my friend? How dare you soil my name in the mud? Oh, didn't your mother said you were sleeping yesterday night? Please, Dad, I'm not a kid. I'm an adult. Don't be. Shut up your trap, young lady. What were you doing driving around 2 a.m.? It was 2.30, not 2 a.m. Even the police can't keep record of time. It's a pity this is how you want to live your life, kids. I am so disappointed. A lawyer for that matter. Take it easy on her. She will learn with time. Oh, please spare me that crap. I don't need you interfering in my family talk. Are you okay? Do you want to rot in jail? Who is going to put me in jail? Him or you? Please take her home and caution her. I will, TPO. Thank you a lot. I will send something across to you. Thanks, Chief. Of course. Money solves everything. Will you get out of here? Move, my friend. I'm moving. Huh. My baby, are you okay? Mommy, I'm fine. I was in that disgusting place for four hours. Did they hurt you? Will two of you shut up? Amanda, I'm really so disappointed. For you to caution this child, you are here petting her. She was caught driving in full speed in the middle of the night. She was drunk and she almost killed a pregnant lady. See what a 27-year-old lady is doing with her life. Eh? So? Is she the first lady to go clubbing? And what is a pregnant lady doing at the middle of the road in that ungodly hour? The police made this up to frame my baby. Yes, so mom, they did. 
They humiliated me. It's a pity. I pity you, Amanda. You told me that Kate was sleeping yesterday night, and yet she was arrested. I only said that so you won't lag me out. Continue. But I promise I won't be you next time you get into trouble. And I would make sure I abandon you there. She won't get into problems. Don't worry. Go upstairs, baby. Dad doesn't love me. He's so strict. Hello, my son. Hello, ma. I'm Daniel Obasi. I... Oh, you are Chibasi's son. Welcome to my house. Thank you, ma. Ma, you look beautiful. Thanks, my dear. Please come in. Thanks. I heard Kate is back, so I decided to come see her. That's very thoughtful of you. Please sit. Let me call her. Hey, mother. Oh, my baby. You came just in time. Daniel is here to see you. Please treat him well. Hi, Danny. You are Chibasi's son, right? Yes, beautiful. I heard you came back three days ago, so I decided to come. I've been busy with work. I understand. It's nice to meet you after like eight years. The pleasure is mine. How was studies? Boring. I had to push through. The phone was worth it. Oh, that's interesting. Please, what can I offer you? Besides, lunch is almost ready. Please join me in the dining. Hmm. I've had lunch before coming, but it would be rude to say no to an angel like you. Oh, come on then. Let's eat. Of course. Lead the way. Is this game now? I have been waiting here for two good hours. So the beer I ordered will soon finish. And I don't have money to order another one. If I touch from this 10k now, I know Nora would kill me. Which kind of wala is this? Hey baby, hope you came with the money. Nora! 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 What is it now? Why are you shouting? So you came and the next thing is money. Do you even know how long I have been waiting for you? You kept me here for three hours. And so? Do you know how many guys are willing to wait for me for a whole day? Please just give me the money and let me get out of here. I don't want to get mad at you. Calm down, Nora. It's not like that now. Nah. Then what's it like? Please, MD, give me the money. I have something important I have to attend to. Here is the money. 10,000 Naira. We'll see you later. I'll come over later. Bye. Now, wow. Hello, auntie. My daddy is not at home. Will you get out of my way, you little rat? Who is a rat? You are the auntie my daddy used to give all our money to Abby. Are you asking me questions? Do you want a dirty slap? Just in case you don't know, my daddy doesn't have any more money. So please leave. You must be mad. <sniffs> MD. MD. Ha, Nora. You are here. How are you? If you don't want me here, then tell me rather than sending these little rats to insult me. Auntie, I'm not a rat, oh. Will you shut up? Why would you talk to her like that? How did I talk to her, nah? Will you get out of here? Nonsense. Okay, oh. Don't say I didn't want you. This your lousy son. Give me a drink, Jerry. Alright, sit. Let me get you a drink. I'll be right back. My man, this one you came by today. I came to drop some files by a client's office, so I decided to come see my guy. Eh? You came to drop a file by yourself when you have staffs all over this place. Daniel, you are very humble. Nah, don't say that. This client is big. I have to deliver myself. All the same, you are welcome. What can I offer you? I beg, keep formality, Joe. My man, my man, your mood today needs to be observed. What about my mood? Just me, Joe. Okay, so I saw Kate the other day. I see. No wonder your mood changed. 
So Kate is the reason. Guy, this baby is beautiful and endowed. See human being skin. Is it her body that you are attracted to? I don't know. I'm just shown by her beauty. She's okay, Sha. Hmm. What does she do? Well, she just bagged her master's degree in law. Law? That's a big catch. Be like this girl now, full package. Look at you. That girl is everything I need right now. So you are in love with her? Not so fast. I need to know her better. Although she's pretty, but man needs to be wise. That's the spirit. Girls are unpredictable. Yes, yeah, so. Kate! 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 Yes, Dad. You're screaming. Are you mad? I'm screaming in my own house. Please forgive her, Chief. Keep quiet, woman. Kate, where is the 30 million I asked you to pay into my account yesterday? I... I... I went to the bank and I deposited it. In what account? Because my bank manager just called me that you never came to the bank yesterday. Even today, he didn't see you. Um, Dad. Where is my money, Kate? I need the money. I used it, Dad. You used what? I used the 30 million naira for my body session, Dad. My skin needed to glitch, so I used the money for skin maintenance. How dare you? You used my money for skin maintenance? Are you mad? Calm down. Isn't she your only daughter? Uma, I regret having you as your wife. Look what you are teaching this useless daughter of yours. She's right, Dad. You hate me so much. I want my money before morning. Else, I will get both of you arrested. Don't worry, baby. I will give him his money and also send you some money, okay? Okay, mom. I love you. I love you, mom. Hey, you're Daniel, right? Hello, kids. It's Daniel. How are you doing? I'm very well, my dear. What are you doing here? Um, I'm here to shop. Hmm, for your girlfriend or your fiancé? Haba, none of the above. I have this corporate dinner with my board. I want to shop for the perfect suit. Interesting. Shouldn't your girlfriend be doing that for you? No, I'm very much single. And even if I have a girlfriend, she should probably be at work, so I still have to do it myself. Work indeed. And why would a handsome guy like you be single? Look who is talking. Where is your boyfriend? And why is he not here with you? Well, I'm single. Broke up with my ex in London. He never wanted me back here, so we had to go our separate ways. Sorry about that, dear. Relationships can be demanding. Why don't you come with me? I know you must be good at picking outfits. I mean, look at you. Don't flatter me, please. Let's go. Thank you, my lady. Hey, I haven't seen that your lousy son. Where is he? He went to school. I thought as much. Yes, yeah, so please, Nora, can you please help me prepare something? I'm really famished, and Jumbo will also need to eat when he comes back from school. I don't understand, MD. Don't worry, there is food stores and ingredients to prepare it. MD, ha! So you don't see me finish? How dare you order me to go into that your low-class kitchen and cook for you and your imbecile son? Maybe I didn't order you. I only beg you. MD, you're mad. I say you're not normal at all for suggesting such rubbish to me. Did I do something wrong? Are you not my girl again? You're asking me useless questions. I'm a useless man. Is this seriously happening, Nora? Because I asked you to cook for me. Go and cook for yourself. Don't you have hands? Rubbish. Nora! Nora! Come back here! Hey! Hey, whoa! <laughs> Where is this useless child? Who is the useless child? Please, so I didn't give birth to a useless child. Amanda, how dare you? Call me that girl you call a daughter. What's the commotion about? You both are disturbing my sleep, please. Kate, what was the rubbish I heard you did in my office today? What's going on here? Why don't you ask your daughter? How do you mean, Daddy? My manager called me and told me that you went to the office. Demanding he transfer you 20 million naira and that I sent you. As if that wasn't enough, you sacked six staffs. What audacity. Oh my god. Why would you do that, Kate? 
Why won't I? I asked daddy for some money for three days now. He refused to give me. What should I have done? What kind of a child are you? He refused to work. You are so lazy and extravagant. Please spare me that. Are you both even my parents? You treat me like I'm a less privileged. What can you ever do for me without making me look stupid? You know what? I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I don't even think of stopping me. Please don't do that. Your dad didn't mean it that way. Let her go. Let her go and make her own money. Rubbish. Hey, whoa. Honey, I want us to have a discussion. What discussion? About our daughter, Kate. Which daughter? Do I have a daughter? Ha! Has it gotten to that? It has gotten to this point where you don't even know you have a daughter. Look, woman, that child isn't my child. Look how she behaves. The Kate I knew is far dead to me. Oh, please, don't ever say that about our daughter. What's wrong with you? You, woman. You are wrong with me. Don't you realize you are jeopardizing the life of that young lady? What kind of a mother are you? How dare you? Did I ever teach her to disrespect? What about you? Aren't you her father? If I have failed as a mother, why didn't you fill up the gap and show her fatherly discipline? Is that it? How would I when you won't let me? I tell her one thing, then you say another, and you expect her to listen to me when you are her mother? Excuses sounds best to the person who is making them. Don't you dare blame me for failing your daughter. I regret ever marrying you, Amanda. You suck at everything. You are not serious. My daughter better don't leave this house. If not... If not what? If she leaves, then you are living with her. Bet me. Watch and see. Basim, my very good friend. Chief the Chief, how are you doing? I'm fine, my friend. This is why you came to visit me today. I hope all is well. All is well, my dear friend. It's been long we visited each other, so I decided to come see you. That's very thoughtful of you. What can I offer you? Let's leave that aside. I came for a reason. Hope all is well, my friend. You sound sad. Of course, I am sad, man. Look at me. What's the problem? Amanda has decided to spoil my daughter for me. Can you believe Kate refused to manage my companies, even after graduating from one of the best schools in the world? What was her reason? Stupid ones, of course. She can't work herself out when she's actually the hair. She finds it stressful. That's no good at all. And to make matter worse, Amanda would sit and support her stupid decisions. That girl has spent close to 100 million since she came back from school, and she wouldn't want to work. Ah, that's too much. What's such a young girl doing with such expense? It's her mother. She supports her and teaches her that she's a billionaire's daughter and she should live like one. What's wrong with Amanda? Is that how she wants that girl to grow? My friend, I have decided to take laws into my hands and send kids far from Amanda. How would you do that? Take her abroad again? No, far from that. I want Daniel, your son, to marry Kate. I'm glad you came up with that. Let both of them marry. I bet Daniel will be able to correct kids. Exactly what I mean, Vasi. Please bring me red wine. Let's drink. We should really drink to the new beginning. How far, my guy? You missed lunch. Oh. So I decided to bring you. As my girlfriend or what? Come on, thank you. You can't see. Abe, get out. What's up now? You look stressed. Why? I'm just coming from my father's house. Is he okay? He is. In fact, old age is calling him. Why would you say a thing like that? Can you believe my father said he met with Kit's father? And that they suggest we should both get married. What? Are you serious? Very serious. I really don't know what to say. Oh. Kate is not bad, but your parents shouldn't arrange marriage. They should let you two take things slowly. Exactly my thoughts, so. Just take things easy. You will look for a way out. I just hope so. Welcome, Dad. Please sit, my princess. What do you want, Father? Are you going to abuse me again? 
Of course not. I want to discuss something with you. What is it, father? Hmm, first, I would like to apologize to you. For what? For treating you so badly. You know I love you and I want the best for you. Please understand that whatever I do is as a result of fatherly love. Ha, huh. fatherly love indeed. I'm not mad at you, dad. Whenever you apologize, I know you want to ask me for something, so speed. Well, I sincerely mean my apologies. That's why I got you a brand new customized BMW 2020 model. Oh my god! Thank you so much, daddy. Welcome, my dear. But there's one more thing. What is it? Well, I met with Daniel's father today. And we both concluded that it's best if you both get married. You mean me and Chief Bassi? No, no, I mean Daniel. Why would you two be the one to choose for us? We are grown adults. I know, my dear, but it's best for you too. It's okay, Dad. I will think about it. But first, let me go celebrate my new car. Thank God. Hmm. Hey, mommy of the good life. My angel. My princess. Oh, mom, stop the names, please. You flatter me too much. It's not flattering, my child. What is the excitement? Mom, guess what? You know I can't guess, baby. But of course, it's a good news. Yes, mommy. In fact, there are two news. Probably you must have heard the second one. Spill, baby. Dad just got me a brand new BMW 2020 model. Oh my god! This is surprising. So your dad bought you a car under what circumstances? Apparently, he said he was sorry for the way he treated me. Good. I'm glad he realized he didn't do well. And... And what? He wants me to marry Daniel, Chief Bass's son. You must have heard about that one. Of course not. Your father hasn't said nothing about that. Eh? Is it a good or a bad news to you? Do you want to marry Daniel? Hmm... Daniel is cute, born, tall, fair, muscular, rich, and sexy. He's good, mom. But to marry, that I don't know. But all the same, it's not bad news. He is wealthy and can foot my bills. But marriage is a big word, mom. So I'll have to think it through. Don't want to end up in the wrong hands. That's my baby. You speak wisdom. I like the way you are handling this. Daniel is definitely a jackpot and he will be lucky too. You can say that again and again, mom. Give me a minute. Let me get us a wine to celebrate. Oh, goodness. It seems I'm getting everything I deserve. Come in. Hey, big babe. Hey, Cynthia, my girl. How are you? I do. I've missed you. Same here. How is Lagos now? Lagos is fine. How are you? I'm good though. What can I offer you? I better find food for me, I chop. Foody. I'm coming. Enjoy. Thanks. How's that your boyfriend? Eh? MD? Yes, MD. That one day there. The other day, can you believe this foolish man asked me to cook for him and his useless son? We are not in talking terms, I beg. What's wrong with you cooking for him? Is he not your boyfriend? Point of correction. My MMS. What's MMS? Mugu Money Spender. He can never be my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend, Kelvin. Kelvin? The one that doesn't have your time or the one you spend and this money on. What's that supposed to mean? I beg no this. Let me eat in peace. Better. My babe, you came to visit me today. My dear, see your house, eh? Paradise on earth. Please don't flatter me, Jare. It's my father's, not mine. All the same, my baby. How far now? I'm good, though. Give me a minute. Let me get your champagne. Sure. Here, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate what? Why don't you guess? Don't even go there. I think I'll be getting married soon. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, dear. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, babes. So who's the lucky guy? Daniel. Wait. You mean the Daniel I know? The handsome, wealthy Daniel? Yes, that's one. Oh my god. Did he propose? No, he didn't. In fact, it's an arranged marriage. Our dads arranged it. What? In this century? 
I know. Don't freak out. It might be arranged, but I really like Dan. He's my perfect definition of everything I want. Aren't I the luckiest girl? I get everything I want without working so hard for them. I mean, I get to marry every girl's dream without even dating and crying over heartbreaks. I'm so lucky. Yes, girl, but I feel you should wait for Daniel to make the first move, you know? Yeah, I won't stoop so low. I trust you, girl. Drink, girl. Let's marry. Sooner or later, I'll be married. <laughs> What a word. I thank God this accident didn't take my life. Daddy, thank God you are okay. Yes, my son. Shebi, it's now you know that I am your son. My friend, will you shut up? I'm coming. Let me get you water to drink. Please bring cold one. Take. Thank you. Uh -huh. Daddy, how come Auntie Nora didn't visit you in the hospital? I'm just asking her because... For the past three days, you were in the hospital. I didn't even see her face. Uh, she traveled. Daddy, you are lying. I thought I overheard you begging her to come and she said she can never come and see you in a local hospital. Daddy, it's about time you leave this girl. Oh. Will you get out of here? What's your business with my life? Focus on your studies. Studies, ke? Did you pay my school fees this time? Is it not Auntie Nora you give all the money to? Get out of here, my friend. Hmm. This place is indeed fancy. You like it? I love it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. What would you like to have? Spaghetti and salads with grilled meats, please. Alright. Would you want water, juice or wine? Water, please. Alright, our orders will be delivered soon. Good. So, Daniel, I hardly know anything about you. Do you mind telling me a few things about yourself? Well, I don't mind at all. I'm Daniel Bassi, 31 years old, a CEO of six different companies. I also manage a few of my father's side businesses across the continent. I'm a graduate from Harvard University, where I studied business. I'm currently single, have few friends, but just one best friend. I'm an outgoing and understandable person. You seem to have many interesting paths. Wow. Yeah, thanks. So let's hear about you. Okay. I'm Kate Ernest, 27. As you already know, I just came back from London, where I bagged my master's in law. I'm currently single and looking for an opportunity to experience love again. I'm fun, outspoken, a no-nonsense girl. Oh, interesting. Thanks. You didn't make mention of where you work or any future workplace in mind. Oh, not yet. I'm still figuring. I could set you up with some top-notch lawyers who would love to work with you. Nah, I don't need any of that. Why not? Oh, please. I don't have need to work. Seriously? Who thinks like that in this century? Me? Work is stressful. Why work when I can get everything I need? What a lame mentality. I beg your pardon? What did you just say? Of course. That idea is really lame and it shouldn't be heard from a lady like you. Are you mad? Are you even normal? How dare you detect how I would live my life? I didn't... Oh, shut up, please. In your entire life, don't you ever bring me out to insult me. I didn't mean it that way. Oh, please, save your breath. I'm out of here. Wow. Hmm. Uh-uh, Kate. What's the matter now? Why is your face like that? Lovette, please. Let me relax. Don't fill my ears with questions. Eh, it is serious. You're getting me scared. Who made you angry? If you must know. So, I went out with Daniel today. Oh, that's pleasant news. I'm happy for you. So why does it seem like you're not happy? Can you believe this guy opened his mouth and said I'm lame? I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? What led to that? Okay. We were talking. 
and he asked why I wasn't working. I told him I can't stress my head with work. He even said he would link me up with top-notch lawyers that would like to work with me, but I wasn't interested all the same. The next thing Daniel said is, how can a beautiful girl like me think so lame? Can you imagine? Eh, maybe he didn't mean what you're thinking now. Did you even hear what I just said? This guy insulted me. I don't see any insults there. He only wanted to help. Are you being serious right now? Are you on his side or on my side? I'm on both sides. Daniel didn't do anything wrong. He only suggested something and maybe he feels that is abnormal for a beautiful and well-educated woman of your class not working. I can see you are as stupid as he is. What? You heard me. You are as stupid as he is. What kind of a friend are you? So you are insulting me because I even listened to what she was saying. Are you talking back at me? You know what? You've overstayed. Stand up and leave my house. House indeed. This low budget house. Say who's still living under her parents' roof. Go get an apartment. What can you do without your parents' money? Useless girl. I bet your parents might be regretting having a child as you. I blame Daniel for trying to help. Is it me you're talking to? Just leave. Please leave. I will go, but you will come back begging. Of course I will. But for now, get lost. I pity this girl. Oh, Kate, you're back. Yes, Dad. How was your day, child? Fine, Dad. Can I go now? Please sit. I want us to talk. What is it? Uh, Daniel called me a while ago. He said you angrily left the dinner date. What really was the problem? Oh, I see he called you. I see he's not man enough to settle his differences with me. Just tell me what had happened. Didn't he tell you? Since he was the one who reported, I have no explanation for you. It won't be bad, baby, if you could talk to us as your parent. Daniel respected us, that's why he called. Oh, spare me that. How could he take me out to mock me? That wasn't what he said. So he told you. Why then are you still asking me? Honey, we want to hear your own side of what had happened. My own side? So what? Would you even believe me? Or you are both seated to judge me? Of course not. We will never judge you. Please, mom and dad, whatever Daniel said is true. I accept the blames. But please, I don't ever want to hear you mention that name to me. Or ever think of talking about marrying him to me. What? Kate! Kate! You better go talk to her, woman. She must marry Daniel. This is so exhausting. My guy, Afana. I'm okay. Oh. Hmm. This one you are like this. How am I like? You don't look like your normal self, Daniel. What is the matter? My guy, I'm okay. Okay, oh. how was your date yesterday? It was nothing like I imagined. How do you mean? Can you believe this babe? We were having a discussion and getting to know each other. I asked her where she works. Get what this girl said to me. How do you expect me to guess now? Was I there? This babe told me she has no need for working. That working is so stressful. I thought you said she is a lawyer. A satisfied one at that. I even wanted to hook her up with some of my top-notch lawyers. But this girl refused bluntly. Wow. What kind of thinking does she have? And why did she go to school if she doesn't want to utilize the idea? Guy, I was shocked. What kind of mentality does she have? And that's the girl you want to spend the rest of your life with. You that loves working class women. Seriously? I have to reconsider this whole thing. Well, on another thought, maybe that's what she grew up to meet. Women are not supposed to work. Idea. She would learn with time. I guess so, Sha. Let's just wait. And she's so mad at me, thinking I was insulting her. I would call her to apologize, though. Do, do lover boy. You are not well. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And you? As you can see, I'm good. How may I help you, please? My name is Grace. I saw the notice at the gate. I came to apply. 
Oh, please come in. Thank you, sir. Please sit. Thank you. So where are you from? I'm from Anambra, sir. I came to Abuja in search of a job. I see. Where have you been staying since you don't have any apartment here? I've been staying at a friend's place. Alright. Which of the jobs are you applying for? The cook or the cleaner? The cook, sir. And can you cook? I always have guests over, so I need the perfect worker. Yes, sir. I can cook very, very well. I can cook something for you right now. No, don't worry yourself. I trust your judgment. Thank you, sir. But if you don't mind, I can refer my friend Amaka. She's also looking for a job. That's not a bad idea. She can come in tomorrow so I can ask her a few questions. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. You are welcome. So you can start tomorrow and your pay is 70,000 naira monthly. Ha! 70,000? For only cooking? God will bless you, sir. You are welcome. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. So your friend told me you needed a job. Yes, sir. All right, you are hired. You'll be in charge of cleaning the house. You don't have to worry about the laundry. I have someone who does that. You and Grace will have the boys' quarters as accommodation, and your pay is 70k monthly. Sir, 70k? Hey, well, God will bless you and your family, sir. You are a kind man. You are welcome. You can start today if you want, but the house is still clean, so you can start working tomorrow. Grace is in the kitchen making lunch. When she's done, you both can go get your things so you move in. Or, just let me know when you are ready to move in. No problem, sir. We would move in a day after tomorrow. That's fine. Come in. My guy, my guy. What's up now? I'm good, though. This is Amaka, my new house worker. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. Amaka, you can go meet Grace. Tony, please join me over to lunch. Yes, sir. When did you start having lunch in your house? My new cook did make lunch. Let's eat. Man, this food is delicious. I haven't had such meal in a long time. Even our fancy restaurant doesn't cook as well as this person who cooked this. I'm equally shunned. I enjoyed this dish. She's very good. Which pro did you hire this time? The company who has this cook must be the luckiest company ever. She's just a girl from Alhambra State. She's from no company. Who is she? She needs to be promoted as a wife. Just because of food? Yes, now. Nah. Well, her name is Grace. I just employed her today. She is really good. I'm lucky. Yes, who is there? It is me, MD, your baby. Which baby? Hi, baby. What are you doing here? At least allow me in first. Come in and be fast about it. I was busy before you came. How are you? I'm good. Why are you here? So, Nora, I had an accident and I was in the hospital for three days and you didn't come to visit me. I also came back home and you didn't come. Is that why you came? To ask me a useless question? Anyway, if you must know, you are not worth my visiting. Why, if I may ask? Are you asking me? Didn't you know what you did? Oh, because of that little accident that happened. I'm sorry, now. Nah. You know I love you so much, Nora. I was only hungry and I thought you could cook for me. You have the nerves. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. You came to apologize with ordinary hands. No, I didn't. I'm taking you out to that new supermarket. So go dress up. Alright, baby. That's why I love you. I'm coming. Take your time, my baby. So how is kids now? Have you two talked? No, we haven't. I really feel bad. Then you should have apologized. I mean, she's a woman now. And a woman would never apologize. Exactly. The pride is too much. Well, I will try to put a call over to her. And do what? And apologize now. Over a call. That's rude, man. Go over to her house and apologize. 
you have a point there that's what a gentleman does i have heard what can i offer you did your cook make something you are not serious so it's because of food you came here yes no waiting i won't come do before what would you want to eat do i look like your girlfriend or got prepare anything no be your fault grace grace sir good afternoon sir good afternoon my dear you are the new cook or huh? yes sir well i am tony your boss friend nice to meet you sir i'm grace my pleasure i must say you are indeed a good cook please keep it up i am impressed of course sir i'm glad you like my food thank you so much enough of the formalities please grace prepare something for dinner oh i already have something on the fire what are you cooking it's party jollof rice and chicken sir interesting i can't wait then i'll make it perfect it should be ready in half an hour very well then go on thank you sir wow she's so beautiful and homely please don't admire my cook no vex ho this girl it's past 11 p.m and kate is not back home what's wrong with this child amanda why are you not sleeping are you asking me that question why won't i i mean it's past 11 and you haven't slept yet how can i sleep when my daughter is not back home oh are you bored i thought you supported her having fun what is that supposed to mean it means you shouldn't get worked up when you actually support that she should have fun i don't understand you is this what you have to say? What do you want me to say now? Let her have fun. Don't act like you care for that girl when you don't. Why would I care about my only child? You don't, woman. If you do, you'll be teaching the right thing, not what you teach her. Ernest, you are not helping matters at all, and you are not a good father either. I pity both of you. Oh, please. If you don't have anything to say, then sleep. I will, but please don't disturb me. I didn't. You asked me first. Good night. And if she doesn't come before 12, you can as well go out and look for her. I don't blame you at all. Ha, babes. I've been here for hours. Hey, babe, you're here. Look like you went shopping, huh? Yes, so babes. See big girl. Oh. You can see that again. MD took me round the town. MD, hmm. And why is your face like that? Eh, uh, nothing, oh. Just that this guy is really spending a lot on you. He should now. How about? It's nice, oh. But don't you think you should stop leading this guy on? I don't understand. I mean, just stop playing with his feelings. He truly loves you, you know? I may expect me the sermon. They are beg him to spend on me. He loves you, that's why. And you're making him believe you do too. I beg, I beg, I beg. Just stop already. Don't preach to me. No vessel. Better. I beg. Come, let's go and check these clothes. Hi, Kate. What are you doing here? At least, let me in. Very funny. If you can't say why you're here, you can as well leave. Okay, fine. I really want to apologize for the other time. I didn't mean it that way. Then how do you mean it? I was only trying to tell you the truth. Truth kill you there. Please leave me alone. Oh yeah, I'm sorry now. My cat baby. You insulted me, Lovette. Go home. I'll call you when I forgive you. Please now. Forgive me, sweetheart. It's me or your BFF. BFF my foot. I beg, come in. And don't ever repeat what happened again. Of course. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my son. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Is Kate at home? Yes, she's in. I will call her for you. Kate, 
Daniel is here to see you. What does he want? Don't ask silly questions. Go talk to him and please behave. Whatever. Hey, Kate, how are you? As you can see, I'm fine. Kate, I really want to apologize for my behavior the other day. I'm really sorry. Okay, are you done? Oh, please. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to make such an angel sad. What you did was actually rude, but I forgive you. Thanks so much, sweetheart. I'll make it up to you. You should. What can I get for you? Juice is fine. Okay, give me a sec. All right, darling. It's not as if I forgive you totally from what you did the other time. Papa, so you still have that incident in mind? Before Uncle, there is no friendship that doesn't have clashes. Oh, I forgot. You are a friendship counselor now. I beg, free me. Let's go out now. There's this hair I want us to go get. It's so expensive, but it is worth it. Eh? What are you waiting for? Hello? I'm good, dear. How was work? Um, yeah. I'm at a friend's place. Yeah, you can. Oh, with a friend. That's not a problem at all. All right, I'll send you the address. Perfect. See you. Who is that? Daniel said he wants us to meet, so he's coming here. Guess our plans for today has changed. So, the almighty Daniel is coming over today. Which one is almighty? Yes, so, you miss him, Abby. Of course. My friend is falling in love. Oh. I'm coming. Hi. Good day. Hi, good day. You must be Daniel, right? Yes. Please come in. Sure. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sweet soul. Your friend? Yes. Tony, meet Kate. Nice to meet you, Tony. The pleasure is mine. Daniel, Tony, meet my best friend, Lovette. Lovette, meet Daniel and Tony. It's a pleasure to meet you, Lovette. Thank you, and please feel comfortable. You have a beautiful place. Thanks. Welcome. What can we offer you? Nothing for now. Hopefully, we would go out later on. Let's just chill and talk. That's nice. So how are you guys? We are good. Just came from the office. Work can be so stressful. Exactly. We can actually use a day off. It's definitely needed. Coming. Hello, my man. How are you now? I am fine, ho. What's up? I did. This one we are forming busy today. Hope all is well. I am seriously busy, Joe. Did you get the mail I sent you for Mr. Bayer's contract? Yes, I did. When is he signing the deal? As soon as you cross-check and sign your own part. I will do that when I get to the office. Okay. Alfana, how's your babe? Which babe? Oh, you mean Kate? Isn't she your babe again? I'm actually falling in love with her. Are you serious? Wow. I am happy for you. At least, even if you two are getting married, it would be based on love, not arranged. Exactly. And I can see she loves me as well. Is it all over her? Kate is a charmer. She was able to win your heart. You that hardly fall for ladies. I just hope she's the right one for me. I hope so too. And you should hurriedly tell her about your feelings before someone else gets her first. As if she doesn't know that we are supposed to be married. Better wake up and do the needful. I will. Let me go to the office to sign the files. We will talk later. Alright, my man. Later now. Kate, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please come in. Thank you, sir. What do I offer you? Uh, nothing, sir. I'm very okay. Are you sure? Yes, sir. So what do I owe this visit? I'm here to see Daniel. Did he tell you to come here? No, I wanted to surprise him. Is he not around? He doesn't stay here anymore. He moved out two years ago. I guess he has not mentioned that to you. Oh, he didn't. I'll just call him then. Sure, call him. He'll come over immediately. Yes, sir. Hello? Yeah, I'm at your dad's place. Okay, I'll be waiting then. Bye. He's coming right now? Yes, he is. Alright, how is your father? He's fine. 
He sent his greetings. All right, extend mine to him too. All right, sir. I will leave you. I have few things I was working on. If you need anything, just ask a maid. Of course, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, baby. Sorry I kept you waiting. It's all right. I didn't know you moved out of here. Of course, I moved out. It's been two years now. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. That's fine. So where did you move to? My house, of course. I can take you there. Like right now. No, don't worry. Some other time. I came to let you know that I'll be having a trip to Paris. When? When will you be coming back? By weekend. Oh, don't miss me so much. It's just a two weeks trip. Two weeks is a long time. I'll be back before you know it. It's alright. Permit me to take you to get pizza and ice cream. Just this last time before you travel. That's fine by me. Give me a few minutes. I'll just say hi to my dad and then we go. I'll be waiting. Good evening, ma. Hi, who are you? My name is Amaka. Oh, shut up. I never asked for your name. I asked who are you and why are you opening the door to my man's house? I'm only a cleaner, ma. Oh, better. It suits you. Get out of my way and call me your boss. Yes, ma. Hurry up. Hey, sweet. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Paris looks good on you, baby. You look stunning. I'm flattered. Please feel at home. Of course. Look at this place. It's beautiful. You must have eyes for good things. You can say that again. Yeah. What can I offer you? Champagne is fine. Champagne it is. So how was Paris? It was fine, fine, fine. I mean, I know. I mean, look how happy you are. I really enjoyed my stay. Who are you? So you can't greet again. You just need to rat. If you call me a little rat again, I will lock you outside. Who is this child? Good question. My name is Jumbo and I'm Mr. MD's son. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. We used to shut up. Shut up and get out of my way. Oh, yeah, go inside now. My daddy traveled. What do you mean traveled? Shebi, you want to come inside. Oh, yeah, sit down and wait for him now. You these little disrespectful things. How about Nora? That was rude for a kid. Don't you see how disrespectful he speaks? How did I disrespect you? I told you my dad is not at home. I know you're a liar, so I'll wait. Oh, yeah, keep waiting. When you are done, kindly use the door. This boy is so funny. What is funny about his stupidity? Haha, <laughs> it's funny now. I'm out of here. Rubbish. I'm coming with you. No, sit down, listen to that rubbish. No, come and stay. We're looking for money up and down. Hello, baby. How are you? What useless question are you asking? Baby, I don't understand. You are so unserious. Didn't your useless son tell you that? I visited yesterday and he insulted me. What? I didn't know anything about your visit. Why would he? Where did you go? I only went to visit a friend that proposed a contract to me. Hmm. I'm sorry, baby. Forgive my son. It's okay. Just one that son of yours. I will, baby. So how are you? I'm not really fine. I'm not feeling too well. What is wrong with you, baby? What is wrong with you? Should I come over? No, don't bother yourself. Just send me some money. I can get some medication. How much do you want? 100,000 naira. For what? What kind of medication are you buying with 100k? What kind of question is that? Okay, fine. Um, I will send it to you later today. Good. That's why I love you, baby. I love you too. But please, take care of yourself. Hello, good evening. Good evening, madam. Who am I on to, please? This is the DPO, madam. Oh, hi. How are you, DPO? I'm fine, madam. And how is Chief? I tried to call him, but his numbers are not reachable. Oh, 
oh it must be the network connection he is home now so do you want me to put him over the phone no madam i can equally tell you what the matter is hope all is well i don't think so madam your daughter is now a custody she was arrested what do you mean arrested what was her crime she was causing nuisance in a mall and the manager got her arrested please come to the station immediately all right dpo thank you you are welcome ma oh my god this girl will not kill me honey please let's go to the station at once kate has been arrested what please let's go i'm coming let me get my car keys something to discuss with you sure sir i'm all ears based on how you've served me for the few weeks you've been here i've started to increase your salary to hundred thousand monthly ha god bless you for me amen and also my friend tony you remember him yes sir he has decided to employ you part-time all you have to do is go there every three days and make fresh food then you store them in the refrigerator for him he has agreed to pay 50k monthly and also, you don't have to worry about how to find your way there. His driver will pick you up every Wednesday and Saturday. God bless you, sir. God bless both of you. Amen and amen. Do you agree to do the job? Yes, sir. Cooking is my passion. So I can. I don't mind cooking for 10 different people, sir. All right, then. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for cooking so well. You are indeed a great cook. Thank you, sir. I will try my best. All right, there. Please go back to your duty. Thank you once again, sir. I won't disappoint you. We'll see about that. Where is my daughter? Please calm down and take a seat. How is she? She is fine, but you have to caution her very well. This isn't London, and she has to understand that we don't permit certain behaviors here in Nigeria. Exactly what I have been making her understand. Please, I want to see her. Calm down, madam. She is fine. You have to sign few papers. All right, DPO. Where are the papers? Let me sign them. Here. All right. Here is your daughter. Oh, my baby. Are you hot? No, mom. But I seriously want to go back to London. That's not possible. You have to learn how to live here. But everyone is so cruel out here, daddy. Learn, Kate. Learn. Whatever. Thank you, DPO. We will be on our way now. Of course, sir. Let's go. Kate, sit down. I have a few things I want us to talk about. But honey, she needs to sleep. She looks tired. What is wrong with you? Please, you can as well go and sleep. But I must talk with her. Okay. Oh. Dad, I'm seated. Talk to me about it. Kids, what have I done to deserve this attitude of yours? Did I ever make a mistake having you as a daughter? Have I not been doing my best for you? What kind of questions are you asking her? Mom, it's alright. To answer your question, Dad, you haven't done anything to deserve anything. You never made a mistake having me as your daughter. You have been doing enough as a father. Exactly! Then why are you bent on embarrassing me with every little chance you get? I don't see a way I embarrass you, Dad. I only live my life and those stupid police arrest me for no reason. I mean, how am I supposed to sit and watch another lady embarrass me simply because she is married and I'm not? Who did that? Amanda, do you know you are the major cause of Kate's problem? When will you ever correct her wrong? Dad, please, I don't have no problems. I don't want to sit here and watch you say horrible things about me. I'm not bad. At least, I never got arrested in London. This place is just too much for me. Dad, please excuse me. You see exactly my problem. She would walk out. Please let my daughter be. Babes, how fine now? Babe, I don't know if I'm fine or not. What's the matter? Yesterday I was arrested. What? How come? That story for another day. The problem is that my dad is so mad at me, I don't know what to do. Why is your father mad at you? He feels like I'm a bad luck. 
I mean, I have caused that man a lot. I really feel bad. Don't even think about it. You haven't done him any bad. I mean, other children do the same to their parent. Your dad should just get used to it already. Besides, he should let you live your life. Babe, he has tried for me. I keep giving him problems. I think I should just get serious with my life. How serious can you be? You want to stoop so low, working your head out. What are your plans, huh? I really don't know anymore. Please, come off it. Don't let your father spoil your joy. The least you can do is try as much as possible to stay out of police cases. I think so, too. I just have to. Chill, girl. You are the best girl around here. Thanks, babe. You have a special way of taking my mind off things. Let me get you a glass of drink to clear your head. Yeah, I really do need it, please. I will be back. See as you they fresh they go. Anything for your babe? I beg no why me. You are looking just as good as I am. Now so anything for me. Everything for you. Get ready, girl, I'll take you out. To where? That new mall downtown. I had that place so expensive. Where would you get money to shop there? Why not, girlfriend? This to me, Joe. If you must know. MD gave me 100k yesterday and one guy that has been asking me out for a long time sent me 150k so we can shop all day. So there's a new guy? Yes, there is. I'll tell him about him later. Okay, but I'm happy so that at least you will leave MD alone. Leave which MD? MD na? MD is forever my spender so there's no leaving MD. Haba Nora, this is not fair. Please, 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 are you going or not? Why won't I go? I beg, let's go. Better. Knock knock. Who is there? It's me. Oh. Hello, Cynthia. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing, MD? I'm good. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Welcome. How is your son? He is still in school. All right. What can I offer you now? Nothing at all. Don't worry, I have something to discuss with you. Okay, so what is it? Mr. MD, do you truly love my friend Nora? Of course, I love her so much. Why such question? I know how much you love Nora, that's why I want to tell you this. Please talk to me. Well, your Nora doesn't love you, so you must know. Ask her about Bayo. She's using you. Wait a minute. How am I sure she didn't send you to test my love for her by saying this? Well, she don't. She didn't even know I came. But I'm telling you this because I want the best for you. She doesn't love you. Are you serious about this? I'm very sure. I'm sorry about all she's been doing. God, I feel so bad right now. I'm sorry, MD. But I just have to tell you. Be careful you're spending on her. Thank you so much, Cynthia. You're welcome. Send my regards to your son. Nora, you are doing this to me. Hmm. Look at this bracelet. It's so beautiful. Who is it? I don't think I'm expecting any visitor today. I'm coming. Good evening, love it. Good evening, Daniel. Please come in. Thank you. You are welcome. How are you doing, Daniel? I'm good, my dear. How are you faring? You are looking good, though. I'm doing just fine, and thank you. Don't mention. I know you must be wondering why I'm here, right? Exactly. This is an unusual and unexpected visit. Hope all is well. All is well. There is something I would want to talk to you about. All right. It must be a very important discussion. What can I get for you? Champagne, wine, water, beer, anything at all? No, don't worry. This is so important. Refreshment and wait. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. All right, let's talk. I really don't know how Kate feels about me. But honestly, I think I'm falling in love with your friend. I don't know if she actually feels the same way. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I don't know if I should tell her I don't want to be turned down. This is interesting. I think Kate feels the same way. Though, she haven't really said anything to me, but I'm a girl, and I know how she talks about you. 
so you feel i should tell her about my feelings yes i think so don't be afraid of getting turned down but she won't turn you down trust me all right i'll take your words for it sure you won't regret it thank you so much and please keep this between us of course i'll be on my way now oh all right drive safe sure and thanks again you are welcome Hey, sweet girl, how are you? Hello, babe. I'm good, though. In fact, I'm very fine. Babe, it's nothing, though. I'm just good, and I'm seriously bored. Mind to visit? Okay, what's it with the excitement? I'm seriously bored here, too. Maybe I should just visit. I'm coming. All right, dear. Bring juice, though. Yes, juice, Joe. I know. There's no dull moment with you. You can say that again. I'll be there soon. I'll be waiting. Welcome, best friend. Thanks, dear. The traffic was something else. So what's up? I'm okay. Oh. Please come and gist me. You and gossips. Okay. There's this guy that's asking me out. His name is Nathaniel. He's super rich and extravagant, just the way I like them. Not some over-serious working class who feels any lady who doesn't work is no match for them. Haba, Kate. Please erase every other guy's thoughts from your head. What about Daniel? What about Daniel? Are you not supposed to be marrying him? I bet forget about those people. But you love Daniel, don't you? Yes, I love Daniel. But he hasn't said nothing about liking me too. I can't keep waiting for him. He sounds too good to be true, I beg. Are you blind? Can't you see the way he looks at you? That guy loves you. And why hasn't he said anything yet? Probably. He must be thinking you will turn him down. Turn him down as how? Am I mad? Can't you see he's a dream come true? He would be thinking the same way with you. True, but he better man up. I won't wait for him forever. He will. Give him time. Okay, oh. My princess, how are you doing? Mom, I'm superb. How are you, my beautiful mother? I'm fine, baby. I can see you are in good mood today. What is going on? Well, mom, I'm overjoyed. Why? Talk to mommy. I just found out that the person I love is seriously in love with me as well. Wow. Who is that lucky man? Daniel, mom. It's Daniel. Oh my God. You both are in love with each other. Yes, mom. I feel so blessed. Oh dear. You both are blessed. I'm proud of you. Thanks, mom. And I think we should all make plans towards the engagement right now, mom. I just want to make him mine. Oh, look who is getting engaged. Congrats, my love. Thanks, mom. But baby, please take things slowly. Don't rush into marriage. You both can get engaged and wait for like three months before the marriage. That way you both have been used to each other. You are right, mom. I will put that into consideration. But for now, I need a joy sleep. All right, baby, go ahead, all right? See you later, mom. Sure. Ernest will be glad to hear this. Oh, thank God. Honey, guess what? How do you want me to guess? Please, if you don't want to say it, please leave it. Must you quarrel over everything? Oh, please. I know you have nothing good to say. It's either you want to talk about another big party you want to attend, or it's about kids. I don't want to hear it, please. Why do you hate our daughter so much? And who says I hate my child? Don't say what you don't know, woman. Well. I'm not here to talk about any big party, but I want us to talk about Kate. What has she done this time? She has done nothing. 
Don't you have any positive thing to say about her daughter? Does she have any positive behavior? Well, she told me this evening that she and Daniel are in love with each other. Eh? You don't mean it. I mean it. She also said she is already engaged to him. Oh God, I thank you. This is the best news ever. I thought you said she doesn't have any positive attitude. At least she made Daniel fall in love with her. Wow, she has indeed done well. Yes, so... This deserves a celebration. Let me get a bottle of wine. Yes, so she is making me proud. How far, my guy? I'm fine, no. How can I not be? I see. What's with the excitement? Did you get a contract? This is even bigger than a contract, my guy. Guess what? What now? You and this your guess? Well, I think I'm in love with kids. You think or you know? Either of them. Wow, that's good news. First time in a long time you finally fell in love again. After what your ex did to you. Please don't bring up that girl. No vex. I was able to talk to Lovett and I found out that she loves me just the same way. She even made the record of her saying while they were discussing. Kit was saying she loves me but she feels I don't like her. If not, I must have made a move. Who won't love Kit back? I mean, that girl is perfect. Exactly what I thought, my man. And right now, I just want to make the move and make her mine. You want to ask her out? You know my dad wants us to get married so I figured I should just engage her already. Then we can go on a month's vacation where we will get to know each other well before we talk about marriage. You have a point dear, but I feel the vacation should be after your wedding. Whichever way, it's fine by me, provided she's mine. Congratulations, my man. Thanks. Let me get a bottle of wine. We need to celebrate. Yes, now. My guy will soon be taken. Basim, my very good friend. Ah, Ernest, how are you doing? I am good. Been a while we last saw. Of course, this must be a wonderful visitation. I bring good news. So tell me the good news. Our children has finally fallen in love with each other. You don't mean it, Ernest. I mean it. My daughter discussed this with my wife, and my wife told me about it. They both have decided to push through with the wedding. Marvelous, this is good news indeed. Yes, my friend. I couldn't have been more happy. Both our children getting married to each other has been our dreams from the university days. God has answered us indeed. Yes, my friend. I'm so proud of them. Me too. Aww, I'm so happy for you guys. It'd be like saying that we remain whole. Stop it, guys. You will get your partner soon. Yes, dear. So, Daniel, this is how you will be leaving me in this bachelor's life. Don't worry, we go join them. Amen, guys. We are here for you guys. And you see this wedding, it's going to be the talk of the town. Of course it will be. Don't you guys trust me again? My wedding will be heaven on earth. I won't let my baby miss out of all the good things of life. Oh, thanks, babe. Don't thank me just yet, sugar. We go love, oh. <laughs> Hey, Bright TV. Oh, please. You exaggerate too much. I'm not even engaged. You and I know that it's only a matter of weeks. Of course. That's why I want to visit Dubai, go for spas and visit my surgeon. That sounds like a plan. When do you intend going? Me? Oh, no. It's us. Don't tell me you are going to sponsor yet another trip for me. Of course. We are in this together, babes. Remember, you'll be my chief bridesmaid. I'm honored, Kate. Wow. So we trip to Dubai? Yes, I will try and speak to Daniel and Tony. If we could all make it together, it would be fun having them around. Yes, you're right. Please talk to him. I really want them to come. Huh? Them or Tony? I don't understand. What do you mean? It would be great having a vacation with them. Oh, please. I know you like Tony already. So, it's normal. And I don't expect him to like me back. Oh, whatever.
Yeah, whatever. I'm just so excited about the trip, that's all. You should, it will be fun. Darcy, this one you came to my house today. Ennis, my friend, I decided to leave my environment a bit. I just went to clear few contracts. Oh, if it's money, then it's fine. How did it go? It went well. Have few complications, but I will have Daniel check them for me. Lucky father, I'm so happy for you. Having Daniel as his son is indeed the best thing one could pray for. I thank God every day, but we are both lucky parents. Despite the challenges and the gender differences, Having a child to call as a blessing in earnest. You are right, my friend. You are right. Ha, Chief, you came over today. Hello, Amanda. Good to see you again. Thank you, Chief. How are you faring? Thank God, my dear. Look at how beautiful you are. You are not getting older at all. Ernest, I love you. You can say that again. Ah, I miss my wife for blessed memory if she was here. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. So how are you taking the news of our kids getting married? Hmm. I must say it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Same here. I can never be more happy. I know you fully well that my son will be in good hands is what gives me joy. Exactly. Let's chase to that. My dear, my dear. Mom, what's up? I'm overjoyed. I can imagine. This house has been a lot better since I agreed to marry Daniel. Oh, yes, because it's good news. You can imagine Daniel's father came over today and he was so happy. Like, I haven't seen Chief so excited. Oh, I'm glad, Mom. It's going to be the talk of the town, baby. Blocks will carry this news. Your wedding will be the best. I trust you, Mom. Well, I have to tell you something. Go ahead, baby. I have decided to go over to Dubai for a few weeks. Daniel is going to propose anytime soon. I need to get my spa, change my wardrobe, get a new car, see my surgeon as well. I think you are right. You need to be in good shape. I don't know if Daniel will be coming with me and love it. If he wants to come, he should, but don't persuade him. Of course I won't. That's my girl. Guess what? Because you have made me proud, I will sponsor your vacation. Okay, mom. Thanks so much. I love you, mom. What should I have done without you? It's all right, my baby. I got you. Thanks so much. You're the best. It's good to be home. Grace, Grace. Sir, good evening. Good evening, Grace. How are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. How was work? Work was great, thank you. Welcome home, sir. Dinner will be ready in half an hour. That's fine. Just call me, Amaka. I have something I would like to discuss with you both. Okay, give me a minute. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Amaka. How are you this evening? I'm doing just fine. You look good, sir. Thanks. Please sit. I would like to appreciate both of your works in this house. As you both know, I increased Grace's salary. I have decided to increase Amaka's salary as well. So, Amaka, your salary has been automatically increased to 100k monthly. Ah, thank you so much, sir. I'm really grateful, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You are welcome. And also, I want to let you know that I'll be getting married soon. Oh my god, congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. I want you both to put your mind towards it. Also, be ready to entertain my fiancé. You might be meeting her anytime soon. I can't wait to see her. Same here. It's alright. That's all for now. You may go back to your duties. Thank you, sir. Congratulations once more. Thank you, sir. I'm really so excited. Wow.
Hello, who is this? This is a DPO. Please, I want you to visit my office. Why? Why should I come to your office? Please come over to my office at once. Else, I will ask my officers to come get you. Whatever, I'm coming. What is this? Why did you ask me to come over? Will you please sit? So tell me, what is the matter? Someone made a complaint about you. Made a complaint? About what? Someone made a complaint about you, how you made a scene in a restaurant earlier today. She said you scared her daughter and insulted her in return. We ordered our men to arrest you, but when we discovered it was you, so I ordered them to stop. I really don't understand what this country is like. A little girl who was causing nuisance in a public place should be left to disturb my peace. But it was the duty of the security there to sort her out, not you. Well, since the securities could not do their work, I had to. Please be careful. This is not London. Oh, please. Must you analyze on every report these crazy people send to you? I have to. Just be careful, please. I will. Take care. Take care. So this man told me that I told him. What kind of a weakling is he? Now, wow. I thought I was doing him a favor. Now he has turned against me. Anyways, I was the one who fucked up big time. I will learn to mind my business till everything blows up on him. I just pity him. He will see tears. He won't be able to cry. He will laugh last. Laugh best. Mom, how are you? I am good. How are you, baby? You look stressed. I had a very hectic day. I went to this restaurant and a little girl of about nine years was crying and wailing around as if it was her father's house. I had to stop her. And the next thing I got a call from the police, the mother of the girl who couldn't control her silly daughter had called the police on me for cautioning her daughter. The police called me and cautioned me, so I was so mad. That's crazy. I'm so sorry, baby. Don't mind them. Nigeria are like that. They can't do something, and when you help them do it, they talk you stupid. It's alright. They can't make me feel this bad. I'm super excited already. I know. Your engagement is in few days. Why don't we make plans towards it? Like, how would you want it to be like? Well, mom, I want it big. I want it in every social media platform. My engagement is my semi-wedding. It should speak for the wedding. You are pretty good in making plans, so tell me what location you want it in. I would meet with... Love it. She knows places more than I do here. Her ideas are top notch. I see. There's this red dress I'm getting for you for that big day. Or you have something in mind to wear. I'm not sure, mom. But you can get it. And I will get some too. Whatever looks better is what I'll pick. That sounds okay too. Other plans will be discussed between I and Lovette. I know, right? Besides, it's your party, not mine. Yes, mom, it is. It will be in my room. I seriously need to have a bath and a little nap. That's fine. If you need anything, just call me. Sure, mom. I seriously need this bath. Now all I have to do is sleep. Oh, goodness. Who is this again? Hello, babe. Hey, baby boo. What's up? You just interrupted my beauty sleep. I'm sorry, beautiful. But you need to rise and shine. I mean, your engagement party is in a few days. We have to plan. You are right, but honestly, I had a long day today. What up? Police interrogation again. What happened? Long story, babe. Oh, please. You have to be careful. You shouldn't be going into that dirty station for any reason whatsoever. You need your skin intact for your wedding. I know, babe. But trouble just keep knocking on my door. And you know me. I can't just seem to say no to it. Oh, baby. Don't worry. You'll be fine. I know. About the plan, just help me look for top-notch location. The one that will suit my person. I will see you in three hours. Let me just have a nap. All right, dear. I will get to it. Sure. I can always rely on you. Bye for now. Of course. Take care.
My guy, my guy. Tony, how are you now? The going to be. Guy, I am indeed proud of you. My dear brother, it hasn't been easy. Yo. I don't know how it will look like when I finally get married. Don't worry. Just take a step at a time. You will make a good husband. Kit is really excited with the whole thing. Abba, why won't she be happy? She is marrying the best husband anyone could ask for. And I'm marrying the best of the best. Yes, so... She's even going ahead to plan an engagement party. She's really mad. An engagement party? Is that not too much? No, of course not. She deserves everything and she should go ahead with the plans. I hope so. An engagement party would make sense since the marriage is going to be big. How much will an engagement party cost? The money is not the problem now. I know even Kate's driver can afford to pay for the engagement party. Exactly. If money is not the problem, then what should be the problem? Well, it's alright. But seriously, I am happy for you. Congratulations, my man. Let's drink up. Hello, my baby. My love. How you doing, baby? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, oh. You are looking fresh, oh. You're taking care of me now. How about your friend? Which friend? Is she not your girlfriend? I don't have a friend. I never knew she was jealous of me all this while. It is where? Besides, who won't be jealous of a pretty girl like you? She's no match for you, baby. Of course. That ugly girl. What can I offer you, baby? Nothing, baby. I don't need anything. Alright, there is something I would want to discuss with you. Feel free to discuss anything with me, baby. I need some money. I want to get a new hair and change my wardrobe. Change wardrobe again? But you did that two weeks ago. There are a few things I didn't buy. Please, baby. How much do you need now? Just 60k. Just? 60k is too much. I gave you 100k last week now. MD and so? It's not your mates that send their girlfriend abroad for vacation. Fine. I will give you the money tomorrow or next. That's why I love you, my baby. Eh. Ah. Yes, we need the rooftop. It's a nice venue. Okay, see you in a few minutes. I will be coming with the bride to be. Come and open your door, Joe. Okay, talk later. Bye. Love it. I'm coming, my beautiful bride to be. I have been standing out here for like forever. Sorry, dear. I was talking with the owner of the venue. What venue did you place her pick? I seriously don't know the location, but she told me it's a rooftop. Roof what? Babe, do you even know me at all? What? Like seriously, do you? I hate heights. I'm sure gonna get scared. And did you also forget that there would be advanced people there too? It's not a bachelor or spinster's party, babe. I totally forgot about that. Then I will call the owner that we are not using that place again. Please do. All I want is something fancy like a restaurant where we can all have dinner and a toast. No loud music. Just a little get together like event. Oh, I should have known you like class a lot. That sounds like a plan. Get ready. Let's go look for a perfect venue. Yes, I'm coming. Hmm, what is the feeling I am getting about Kit? Like there is something off about her. From her way of life to the way she spent, to her not working despite being a graduate, is Kit really a right choice for Daniel? Daniel is a good guy and I wouldn't want him to end up marrying the wrong person. Isn't this whole thing too fast? I mean, they both barely know each other. Well, I pray everything goes well because they really like each other. Hmm, God, if at all, show Daniel signs before he marries this girl. I'm so glad, baby. You give me so much joy. Oh, thanks, baby. You know, if I was told I'd be getting married to a man like you, a year ago, I would say it's a lie. Don't say that. 
You deserve more than me. You are a dream come true. I don't need anyone more than you. You are just perfect for me. That's sweet. Thanks for taking me out on this dinner. It was really needed. The past few days has been hectic with me and Lovette, with the planning and all. I'm so sorry, baby. Yeah, it's all right. Sometimes I wonder how my wedding is going to be if engagement is stressing me this much. We are definitely getting a planner for our wedding. Yeah, but I will still have few errands to run. Then we get to planners. I don't want you stressing over anything. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. Let me take you home, baby. You need some rest and it's getting late. Remember, we have some shoppings to do tomorrow. Yeah, right, but I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too. Oh, very soon, you'll be all mine. Yes, husband to be. Take me home. Of course. Hey, babes. What's up? I'm okay. I wasn't expecting you today. You don't have to expect me. I can come at any time I want. Of course, ma. See how you're glowing. And this ring is beautiful, though. Daniel has taste, I beg. You can say that again, my dear. He has good taste, indeed. You need to see his house, babe. I have been to places. I have seen fancy things. But you see Daniel's house. It's, oh my God. The interior designs is wow. For a moment, I felt lucky. So that's been my home after two months. You are lucky, babe. I tap from your grace. Your own is coming, trust me. Emma, eh, no. But, um, something bothers me. What is it? There is this girl. Her name is Grace. And she's Daniel's cook. Babe, this girl, fine. She's curvy and she's glowing. Babe, I fine, but I don't see who fine past me. Wow, but she's just a cook now. Don't you trust me? Babe, I feel threatened by that girl, who. Eh, if you are threatened by her. Then talk to Daniel so he can send her out. It won't be that easy. First, she's a good cook and Daniel is fond of her food. She also cooks for Tony. Secondly, you know I can't cook. If I send her out, Daniel might just manage for two months and expect when we are married, I'll be doing the cooking. That's true. Then ask the grace to teach you how to cook. Then when you have fully learned, you send her out. You and who? I won't be caught dead wearing an apron. Let her do her thing. I will just keep an eye on them. If you say so. Please get me chilled water. All right. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. You came to my office today. Hmm. I think this is good luck. Please don't flatter me. You know I'm right, baby. How is my baby girl doing? I'm fine. How are you? Stressed. But it's worth it, babe. You sure you don't want to take a break? I don't want you stressing out. Thanks, baby. But I'm totally fine. All right, babe. Your cook, where is she from again? She's from Anambra State. Why? I guess you like her cooking. Just as much as I do, right? Uh, yeah. She's a good cook and she's so beautiful. Oh, baby. Indeed, she's beautiful, but not as beautiful as you. Oh, but honestly, baby. I seriously feel she's too beautiful for such a job. I thought so as well, but she seems she likes to cook. I had to employ her coupled with the fact that she's a really good cook. Well, it's alright. Let's hang out for lunch. I'm craving ice cream. Alright, baby. Give me 20 minutes. Let me round up with this. Okay, I'll wait. Thanks, baby. My guy, what's up? I am good. How are you doing? Okay, I'm um, okay, sir, but uh, I really need your help. What is it? What is not only issues again? Um, I promise to pay you back by month end. MD, I don't have money to give you. What do you use all this money for? You only have one kid, and I have three. You have your own house, and I pay rent, and yet we get the same salaries. What's going on? You won't understand, my guy. Please, just this once. It's 50k. I need. I'll pay you back, I promise. Make no be saying I won't get the chop all this money. Oh. Guy, I beg. Forget that one. Just borrow me now. No, wahala. I could send you, but let your month end be month end. Oh. Sure. Thanks, bro. Hmm. This guy is becoming too extravagant. I mean, what does she use all this money for? 
It's about time I ask her to be my wife, so I can have peace. When I'm married to her, she will have no choice than to manage with me. I'm becoming broke and penniless, and I'm still owing about 250k debt because of her. How much is my salary safe? Well, it's the price I pay for wanting to marry such a pretty girl. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mom. Hello, my princess. How are you doing? It was fine, Mom. I went over to visit Daniel. That's nice. Oh, I see. He's fine, thanks. What's wrong, baby? You don't look okay. Did anything happen? No, Mom, nothing happened. I'm just exhausted. Mom, can I speak to you for a minute in my room? Of course. Mom, you won't believe it. Believe what, baby? Daniel is really richer than we thought. You need to see his house. It's paradise on earth. You don't mean it. I mean it, Mom. But there is this girl that works for him. She's his cook. What about her? Mom, you need to see how pretty this girl is. She's damn curry. And she's a good cook. A perfect definition of a complete woman, Mom. What are you even saying, Kate? Can she be compared to you? You speak beauty. And you are elegant. Don't be intimidated by a mere cook. If you are not comfortable with her, ask your man to get a new cook. No, mom, I don't want her to leave. Daniel likes her food and she hasn't done anything wrong to me. But I'll make sure I put her in her place. Daniel is my control. I will handle her. That's my baby talking. Don't let another woman make you feel less of yourself. She was there before Daniel picked you to be his wife. If she was pretty enough, Daniel would have married her. You are really right, mom. This is why I like talking to you. Thanks, mom. You are welcome, my princess. Just get her out of your head. Sure, mom. Good night. Good night, dear. Hey, dear. Hey, what are you doing still awake? Yes, my manager called me a while ago. He said he just got a big contract from a multi-million company. Wow, that's a good news. I'm happy your company is doing well. I'm glad too. But it's hard work that got us this far. If only Kate would agree to work with me, I don't really know. I know it must have been hard for you, but please, let's just give her a little break. I'm sure she will come back to her senses once she is married. I hope so, for real. Eh? What was the problem with her? She was really not herself a while ago. Well, she said she went to Daniel's house today and she wasn't okay with his cook. That she dressed revealing and that she is intimidated by how she carried herself. A male cook intimidates kids. That's unlike her. Exactly my thought so. But I have sorted that out with her. She shouldn't feel intimidated by any woman. She's beautiful herself. Why should a cook make her feel less of herself? Don't mind her. You know she always wants to be the best. That's why she should learn how to cook, so she wouldn't see any woman in her house competing with her over food. Food is a direct link to a man's heart. I wonder why you haven't persuaded her to start a cooking class. She's going to be married soon, except she wants another woman to take her husband with food. Oh, please. That won't happen. I will talk to her about that. You better do. Good night, dear. Good night. Hello, babes. How was your night? Hello. It was fine. I barely slept. Why is that? Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm okay. I just had a sleepless night. What's up with the early morning call? It's barely 6 a.m. Yes, I even couldn't sleep. Why? I'm just bothered. I can't sleep thinking about Grace. Who's Grace? Don't tell me you forgot about Daniel's mail I told you about. Oh, that girl. What happened to her? Why can't she sleep? Yes, I couldn't. Can you imagine? I just have an odd feeling that that girl is going to cause an havoc in my marriage. Like, seriously, this is getting out of hand. I want to meet this grace of a girl. Like, babe, the feeling is so strong. I feel like it's going to happen soon. Calm down, babes. We would look for a way out.
I can't afford to lose Daniel. Not now. I love him so much. Stop, please. Nobody is losing anybody here. Let me meet the Grace first. Then we can decide what would happen. I'll send you the address now. I'll be going there by 10 in the morning. Just make sure you come there by 10. I'll be waiting for you at the junction. All right. Send it. I will be there. Don't forget to send me the address right away. Sure. Good morning, madam. Hmm. And can't you see my friend? Or is she too small for you to greet her? Sorry, ma. Good morning, ma. Yeah. Ma, my boss is not at home. And so, if he's not at home, does that mean you should keep us outside standing? I'm sorry, ma. Please come in. <laughs> Wow, this place is beautiful. Indeed, please sit. Welcome, ma. What can I get for you? Just shut up and call me Grace. Okay, ma. Rubbish. So she isn't even the Grace. I was already lashing out at her. It's good you did. They are birds of a feather, but she's less of my problem. Good morning, madam. You, get two glasses of champagne for me and my friend. Okay, ma. You see her? Eh, uh, that girl is beautiful, though. My dear, you have every reason to be afraid. What? See corpse? Exactly my thoughts, so babe. Here, ma. I think there's no need for this anymore. We would love to be on our way. But ma, you guys just came. Shut up. You want to tell me when I should or shouldn't leave? How dare you? I'm sorry about that, ma. Lovette, let's get the hell out of here. I'm really sorry, ma. Oh, please, shut up and leave. <laughs> They left already. Yes, so I wonder what they came here for in the first place. She probably came to show off the place to her. That's their problem. That girl is so rude. Is she the only one that's getting married to a wealthy man? And the worst part of it is that that her friend that didn't know me was lashing her frustration on me. Don't mind that, Lekba. She was there shouting. Please leave them, I beg. I will have to report this to boss. Don't even think about it. You want to lose your job. No. Why would I? Better. But that girl too small now. Nah. If she wasn't our august fiancé, I would have beaten her blue-black. Fighter. You should have now. So that you sleep in jail. How? I overheard boss and his friend discussing the other day that his fiance is a lawyer and she graduated from Oxford in London. Ewo, Abba, I didn't know. No wonder she's like that. Better know now before it's too late. I don't remove her though. <laughs> Babe, what I saw today, my mouth can't explain. You see, that girl is a big threat to me. Not just a threat. She will take your husband from you. Please don't say that. I'm telling you, I was threatened by that girl. Who. See her person picking fine. I don't know where Daniel got that girl from. I think I know what to do. Oh, that's why I rely on you. Please, what do I do? It's simple. You have to move in with your man so you can keep an eye on him. I don't understand. Moving with Daniel and keep an eye on that girl, it's far better that way. You staying far from them would give him the freedom to do whatever they want. I think you have a point there. Think about it. It's a good point, isn't it? I think I need to talk with Daniel immediately. I know I could rely on you. Of course you can. I will talk to you later, babe. All right. <laughs> Hey, babe. You look beautiful as usual. Thanks, baby. I miss you so much. I miss you too, baby. You're always busy with work. We could hardly hang out. Is this how we're going to stay for two months before we get married? How then are we going to know each other a lot if we don't spend quality time with each other? I'm sorry, baby. 
I know work is taking a lot of my time, so I will try and create some time for us. Well, it's all right. I have come up with a solution. What solution? And I move in with you. That way we'll be able to have each other's time. Move in together? Are you sure about that? Yes, baby. I'm very sure. It's better that way. It's all right. Give me some time to think this through then. All right, baby. Please don't decline. I will try. Okay. Have you had lunch? Yes, I have. How about you? Nope, I haven't. But I will get lunch on my way out. You want me to get lunch for you? No, not at all. Thanks. You're welcome, baby. My guy, how far now? I'm good, what's up? I am fine. Just close from office. What of you? At that our usual bar. Can you come meet me there? Hope all is well. Yes now. Nah. Alright, I am on my way. Okay. What's up, my man? As you can see. You are looking good. It's like this upcoming marriage is doing you a favor. You can say that again. Kate came by my office today. Oh, nice. How is she? As beautiful as ever. Now so. But she wasn't happy about my regular work habits. She said we barely spend time with each other. She is right now. How are you two supposed to know each other when you don't spend time together? Yeah, you are right. But what should I do? Create time for her. Yeah, I know. But she doesn't want that. I don't understand. What does she want then? To move in with me. What? When you both are not married? Exactly my thoughts. So. Well, it's your decision to make. Yeah, I'll have to think it through. All right, man. Mom, Dad, I want to discuss something with you. Please, we are all ears here. Mom, Dad, I want to ask you a very important question. Go ahead, dear. Is it right for a man and a woman to live together even when they are yet to be married? No, my dear. It's not really right, except there's a reason for them to make such a decision. Yes, dear. Except there's a reason it's not right. Why are you asking this, dear? I want to move in with Daniel. What? That's not right. Don't be patient till you both are married. Dad, you just said it's right if there's a reason. Is there a reason? Yes, Mom. We want to spend time together before the marriage. We want to know more about ourselves. Daniel is too busy for outings or whatsoever. I see. But I'm totally against this arrangement. Has he agreed to this whole moving in thing? Not yet, Mom. I'm just saying this because I know he would agree. I want this to work out. That's why I want us to stay with each other and tolerate each other before marriage. I still don't support this, but if it will make you happy, then I won't stop you. Yes, dear. You are an adult now. Take your decisions. All right, mom and dad. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, dear. <laughs> Hey, baby. How are you doing today, babe? I'm good, and you? I'm fine, baby. You asked me to come. Hope there's good news. Yeah, I think I would be traveling soon. Traveling? To where? I have a business trip that would fetch good money. Wow, I'm so happy for you. But it's so far away, I won't want to go. Why? You must go. A contract that will bring so much money. Yes, but it's so far, and I can't go from home. Then you travel now. Oh, take care of my son. Can't he take care of himself? Is he a kid? Haba, well, let's forget about that because I will be going a few weeks from now. So let's talk about something else. Okay, babe. Uh -huh. I asked you for some money. Do you have it? I have it. I will send you later. Thanks, baby. That's why I love you. I love you too. Let me get water. I'm coming. <laughs> My son, how are you? Good evening, Dad. 
I'm fine and you? I'm okay, son. Daddy, you're looking young. Of course I am. I have peace. Yes, daddy. I have something to discuss with you. Please sit. Let's talk. Hope you're okay. Eh, uh, yes, dad. It's about Kate and I. What about her? Is she okay? She came by my office today. I think we need to spend more time with each other. I guess your work is taking a lot of time. You are the man and you must make the relationship work. Women need attention. Please fix it. I'm trying, dad. She suggested something for me. Okay. What was it? She says she wants to move in with me. She thinks it will give us enough time for ourselves. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that. If that would give you two time. Think it's a good idea? Yes, my son. There's nothing wrong with that suggestion. Alright, dad. Thank you a lot. You are welcome, son. Who is there? It's me, Cynthia. Yes? How may I help you, please? Please, can I come in? We need to talk. You missed your way or something? No, I didn't miss my way, Nora. If you will let me in, let's talk. Come in then. Be fast about it. I don't have time. Thanks. So what is it? Look, Nora. I know you must have tagged me as a bad friend. I know what I did was wrong. But I'm honestly so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I just felt some kind of sympathy for MD and mostly that his son. The other day I saw him who was looking unkempt. I just felt for him. Is it your money MD is spending? You were just jealous. I'm sorry. I really should have mind my business. You should mind your business. I never believed you could do this to me. I never wronged you for once. I'm sorry, babes. I was never jealous of you. You're my best friend. I just felt bad for Andy's son. Oh, please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's all right, my dear. You've forgiven me? Yes, I have. But promise me it won't happen again. It won't. I've missed you so much. Hey, babe. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. How are you doing? I'm very fine. How was your night? As usual, but we thank God. Yeah, you're ready for work? No, nope. I think I'll go a bit late. I'm really exhausted from yesterday's work. Didn't sleep until 3 a.m. Oh, my love, I seriously think you need a break. You are overstressing, don't you think? I know, baby. But soon I'll go on some long-term vacation, probably after our wedding. Isn't that too far? I mean, you might have broken down before two months' time. Nah. I'm good, baby. Trust me. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. About you moving in, have you talked to your parents about it? Yes, they totally agreed after persuading them. That's nice. Did you talk to your dad? I did, and guess what? Guess? I seriously can't guess, baby. Well, they allowed it. He said that will even help us a lot. I told you, babe. Yeah, you did. All you have to do now is tell me when you want to move in. I'll get back to you on that. Probably two days' time. Alright then. I'll talk to you later. I need to sleep. Okay, baby. Take care. You too. Hi, babes. Hi, best friend. You look excited this morning. What's up with the mood? Can't I just be happy again? You can, but this your mood is something else today. I beg, I'm just happy. Tell me the good news. So, Daniel called this morning. I knew this had to be with Daniel. Of course. So he called this morning and asked if I had talked to my parents about moving in. I told him yes, that they've agreed. Did your parents agree? Yes, they did. They can't say no now. Okay. What did Daniel say? He said he has talked to his dad and he even supported the idea. Oh, wow. Does he have to tell his dad anyway? Or is he a daddy's boy? Oh, shut up. It was the right thing to do. We haven't married yet, remember? And the Daniel I know is a boss and not a daddy's boy. No, like so. I'm just happy for you. You are having everything so easily with Daniel. He truly loves you. I know he loves me. I mean, who would love a girl as pretty as me? No one, my dear. You see, Daniel, he's at the top of my palm now. 
I can tell him to do anything and he will do it without questioning. You can say that again, best friend. Yes, so. This one, both of you, visited me today. I hope all is well. Yes, baby, all is well. Cynthia here came to apologize to you. Right, Cynthia? Yes, MD. Oh, my dear, you don't owe me any apologies. I honestly do owe you an apology. I'm so sorry for the whole thing I said about Nora. I was only being jealous, and I've realized my mistake. I'm really sorry. It's all right. So you've forgiven me, right? Of course, but you really don't have to be jealous of your friend. She's a good friend to you, and you shouldn't backstab her like that. I realized my mistake. That's why I came to apologize. That's fine. I'm glad you two have settled your differences. Sure, I'm glad to. So, baby, how are you doing? I'm fine, baby. Just bored at home, so I decided to visit you. That's nice of you. What should I offer you two? Nothing at all. We're good. Yes, we are good. All right, though. About your travel, when are you leaving? Probably next week or so. Okay, then. baby mom i'm exhausted i just came back from shopping you know i'm moving in with my fiance soon i'm aware of that yeah you are but why is your face like that like what like sad oh dear it's nothing just that i will miss you so much baby i don't know how this house will be without you oh mom i went to london when i was 15 and i came back when i'm already 27 you stayed 12 years without seeing me and i'll be getting married soon I'm still here. I just moved to a different house. And you can always come over, you know, right? Of course, I know. Yeah, I will miss you too, mom. But I will always visit you. I trust my love, so tell me what you got from your shopping. Okay, I got a few things. I'm going shopping tomorrow, though. You want anything? Anything you can get, mom. All right. Is there any occasion? Why are you going shopping, mom? Well, yes, there is. The senator's wife is having her birthday tomorrow evening. I'm not sure your dad is going. Okay, mom, you know dad is not the party type. I know, baby. Come, mom, let me show you what I got. Sure. I want to see them. Jumbo, why are you home early? Am I not talking to you? Me? Yes, you. Why are you home by this time? You didn't go to school? Which school? What kind of son is this? What kind of father are you? Are you talking to me? No, it's my father I'm talking to. You didn't pay my school fees, and yet you want me to go to school. Oh, I forgot I haven't paid your school fees. Why won't you forget when you give that auntie all your money? Will you shut up, my friend? Okay, but very soon. That auntie will leave you, and then you will know what I'm telling you is the truth. She will not leave me. Better go and pay my school fees, so I don't want to be staying in this house. I will pay it tomorrow or next. If you like. What kind of son is this? Others will be happy they have a child. And I'm still not happy. Rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, I'm finally here. I'm so happy. You are lucky. Oh. See the way your room is glittering. Thanks, babe. That's actually Daniel's room. We'll be sharing it. Go, girl. Biggest girl in town. You can say that again. Babe, I have to go. I need to relax. I'm not feeling too well. I sense something was wrong with you. Please, go to the hospital. I got drugs the other day. All right, babes. Please take care of yourself. I will send you 200 key for medications later. Oh, thanks, dear. Welcome. Just take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy right now. Grace, Amaka.
Ma, you called me. Where is that stupid girl? Grace! Ma, you called me. Of course I called you. Why did it take you forever to answer a simple call? I'm sorry, Ma. Sorry for yourself. Now, both of you listen. I'm here now, and you two must follow my instructions if you want to remain here. I don't take nonsense from no life workers, so you must obey me at all times. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Good. And this, your skimpy dresses won't be allowed as well. You are here to work, not to expose your laps to my fiancé. I don't ever want to see you in skimpy dresses or skirts. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Good. You may go now. Okay, ma. Hello, baby. Hey, baby. Good evening. Good evening. How have you been? I've been okay. How about you? I'm okay. Really happy to see you. Same here. How was work? The work was fine. I was really anxious to see you. I had to leave real early. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Why don't you have your bath and let's go down for dinner? That sounds like a good idea. Of course. Hope you like the food. Yes, it was delicious. I'm glad. Grace is doing a great job. Of course. Mm. Guess what, baby? I got something for you. Oh, really? What is it? I got you a beautiful necklace. Oh! Yes, baby. You don't sound happy. I'm so happy. How much did you get this? 10,000 naira? Of course. You don't like it? Yes, I don't like it. This is cheap gold. I won't be wearing that. Thanks, but no thanks. But this isn't cheap. It's worth 100,000. Ha! 100k. I should wear 100k gold. I won't wear that, baby. Well, it's alright. I'll get you a better one. Oh, that's what you should say. Get me a new one. Alright, my love. Who is that? Come and open this door, my friend. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Eh, now, what do you want in my house? Will you shut up and allow me to pass? Pass to where? Does this place look like your house? Look at this little boy, you. Don't you stay in your house? My daddy is not at home. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Don't ask me. I see if you were not the one who caused it. How did I cause it? Be asking me now, if it wasn't because of you. My daddy would have paid my school fees, but no. What does that have to do with me? Is it not you my daddy used to give all his money? He hasn't paid my school fees because of you. You are very wicked. Will you shut up, you little boy? Please leave my house, or you wait outside for my father to come back. My man, how far now? I am good, who? How are you? As you can see, I'm good. You left work early yesterday. I came and you already left. Yes, I went home to welcome my fiance. Oh, she moved in yesterday? Yes, she did. And you didn't tell me about it? My guy, no vex. I had a lot on my mind. Well, it's all right. How is she? As beautiful as ever. How has the house been? It's been just a day. Let's see how it goes. You don't look excited about it. Why shouldn't I? I am just telling you. What's up? Talk to me. So yesterday I was coming from the office. I was really excited that she was coming. Then I drove to a jewelry store and got her a nice necklace. But guess what Kate did? She rejected it. What did she do? She said it's a cheap good that she won't be caught dead wearing a cheap good. What? How much did you buy the necklace? A hundred thousand. What? A hundred thousand naira necklace? Cheap? My brother was surprised, but I had to play cool. I think she moving in will unveil her characters she wanted to hide. Exactly, my brother. Now this moving in sounds like fun. Indeed.
Hello, honey. How are you doing? I'm fine. How is my beautiful wife doing? I'm okay. Welcome back. How was your meeting? The meeting went well. We got a contract. Oh my God. Congratulations, honey. Thank you very much. Today I feel like things are beginning to fall into places. How do you mean? First, it is getting serious with Daniel and my business is going so wide and fast. It is the Lord's doing and I'm so happy for Kate. She's my daughter indeed. If only she would take over my company as CEO, I would be more fulfilled. Honey, don't worry. Our daughter will make us proud in one way or the other. I hope so. Why don't we celebrate our new contract? Of course. I will be taking you out tomorrow for shopping. Ah, uh, this is a good news indeed. Of course. Grace, Grace, Madam, what kind of food did you make? Ma, it's white rice and sauce, ma. White rice and sauce? Did you taste it? I couldn't even eat, and I had to leave that dining table immediately. But ma, my boss has eaten from the food. He didn't find it tasteless, ma. Are you mad? Did you just talk back at me? I'm so sorry, ma. You will go into that kitchen and prepare me fried rice and chicken. Do you understand? Ma. I'm sorry, but it's already late. I can't possibly cook fried rice by this time. I promise to do that as early as possible tomorrow morning, ma. Something is wrong with your head. What is going on here? Hey, baby. Don't mind that lousy maid of yours. She prepared some sort of sauce and rice. It tastes so bad, I can't eat it. I asked her to prepare me fried rice and chicken, and she's saying it's too late. What's wrong with the rice and sauce? I just eat from it. What? It's probably a different sauce because it tastes so bad. Grace, did you make a different sauce? No, sir. You may go. Thank you, sir. She may go. Are you being serious? Yeah, there is nothing wrong with that sauce. But if you can't eat it, then come on, let's go and get your food. Whatever. I'm not hungry anymore. Hmm. I overheard some shouting. It's Oga's fiancée. That girl again? What is wrong with herself? She said the rice and sauce I cooked was rubbish. Eh, that rice and sauce that Oga rushed. My dear, the same sauce, so. And she wants me to go into the kitchen and prepare her fried rice and chicken. What? By this time? Exactly, yo. I told her it's too late to cook such food. And she began raining insults on me. That girl, eh? Thank God Oga came to my rescue. I have noticed she doesn't like you at all. And I don't know why. I haven't offended her one bit. I think I know why. Why? Because she feels she's prettier than you. Eh? I beg, that's not it. How am I prettier than her? I overheard her and her friend discussing the other day. You always overhear everything. Yes, na. She and her friend are jealous of your beauty. This is unbelievable. Come on, cook like me. Don't underestimate yourself. She seems you as a competition. I'm not competing with her over anything, please. Exactly my thoughts. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, sir. How about your night? It went well, my dear. I have a question to ask. Go ahead, sir. Have you had any quarrel with my fiance before? Or do you both know each other from somewhere? No, sir, we don't. Are you sure? I'm very sure, sir. Hmm. Well, no problem. Is there any problem, sir? No, not at all. Okay, sir. Continue with your work. Sure, sir. Take care then. Thank you, sir.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Daniel. What's up? I'm good, Joe. You visited today. So you are visiting me every day. Can't I visit my childhood friend again? I beg. I know it's just you came for. Yes, now. I want to know how you are fearing with your fiance. You need my guidance. Now, so. Eh, uh, Tony, I noticed something about Kate. What is it? She has only stayed with you for two days. Two days is enough to say something about a person. What is it? She doesn't like Grace at all. I don't know why, seriously. What do you mean? Grace is a very good girl. Abio, yesterday she complained about her food, saying it's trash. And I've caught her for the third time in two days, looking at Grace in a very odd way. What? Grace's food is trash. The same food I tasted with my mouth, she asked her to go cook fried rice and chicken around 8 p.m. in the evening for her because the rice and sauce she cooked is trash. What is weird? You want to sack Grace and let her do the cooking herself? Nah, she won't be cooking for me until we're officially married. Hmm. What exactly is Grace's thoughts? Have you asked Kate? I haven't, but I asked Grace and she said she hasn't done anything wrong to her. Maybe you should ask Kate. Hmm. Hi, Grace. Hi. Good day, ma. Yeah, forget about cooking. I'll be cooking for my fiancé today. But, ma. Don't butt me. Are you okay? Sorry, ma. Sorry for your miserable self. Get out. Okay, ma. Who's home? Hey, baby. How are you doing? I'm okay. I made dinner for you, baby. You made dinner? Since when? Since today. Come on and eat. Okay, let me freshen up. All right, baby. Oh, my God. What kind of food did you cook? Isn't it delicious? What kind of question is that? Go and taste it. It's in the dining. But... So you can't even cook? Oh my god. What have I got to myself into? Where do you expect me to learn how to cook from, huh? You're such an empty container. Me? Empty container? Hey, my babes. Hey, dear. How fun now? I do. How fun now? I'm good, though. Guess what, babe? Haba. You know I can't guess now. There's this guy that I met today. He's so rich and handsome. Wow. I'm happy for you. I'm so happy, dear. He even promised to get me the 11 Pro Max. Wow. Just so soon? Yes, now. Congratulations, there. How about MD now? He's there. I won't be breaking up with him. He's needed. I trust you now. Yes, so... Good evening, Dad. Good evening, my son. How are you doing, Dad? I'm fine. The play is good. Dad, I want to talk to you. Yes, go on. Hope all is well. All is not well at all. What is the matter? Is it not that girl? That girl you gave me to get married to. That girl and I, you can't work. What do you mean you both can't work? That that girl has nothing to offer me. She's dirty, saucy. She won't work and yet she's extravagant. Worst part of it is she can't cook. Simple cooking, Dad. Hmm, Daniel, my son, you must learn to tolerate. This girl will learn. You have to bear with her and teach her. Teach her what? How to cook or how to spend. But you were going to marry her. What if she didn't come with the idea of moving in with you? What would you have done after marriage? Thank God she moved in. I just discovered that I can't keep up with her. You have to try, my son. You have to marry kids. But don't worry, I will talk to my friend. And I will help pick something up and try to talk to kids give her time all right dad i've had you but you better talk to her hello princess hello mommy how are you doing mom things are not working out fine with me and daniel that is why i called he came over yesterday morning he came to report you to your father and i what Trust me, I rebuke him immediately. How dare him? How dare Daniel report me to you guys? Trust your dad now. He was really siding with him, but I refuse to believe him. 
I already know that he hates me so much. Don't say that again, my dear. He is your father. But I know Daniel is not taking good care of you. He is not, mom. He knows at everything. He doesn't want anything good with me. I know, I could tell. Mom, I don't want to lose him. He has been the best thing that has happened to me. You can't lose him. He loves you so much and you are a diamond, my child. You can't talk to a desperate girl. Be the boss of that house. Don't allow him decide for you. That's exactly what Lovette said. Are you sure, mom? I'm sure, my dear. Live your life and forget Daniel. Either he likes it or not, he will marry you. You're right, mom. He doesn't have any choice. That's true, my dear. Get ready and I will come take you to shopping. I like the sound of that, mom. Yes, baby. What have I seriously gotten myself into? So as beautiful as Kate is, she can't cook, wash or do anything, or do any house chores, neither can she bring business ideas. She doesn't work and to cap it all, she's so saucy and arrogant. Hmm, I don't think I can cope with all this at all. I feel like she's a big mistake on my part. I would have asked her out on dates to know her better before asking her hand in marriage. I was so stupid and blinded by love. Well, loving her is not enough. I mean, I have only stayed with her in the same house for six days, and yet it's so unbearable. I was stupid. I should have been more careful. I mean, I can't end up with her. I can't make such a horrible mistake. Never. Hey babe. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I thought about us a lot today. Hmm. What about us? This isn't what I planned for us. Then whose fault is it? It's all mine, baby. Look, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do all this. You didn't mean to? Yes, baby. I'm sorry. I never wanted to hurt you. I love you so much. Please forgive me. It's not that easy, kid. You seriously messed with my head. I know I did. I'm sorry. I promise I'll become a better person for us. I want to learn what you like. I know I'm not the best, but I will try, please, baby. Are you sure all this drama won't happen again? I promise it won't, baby. It's alright. I'll take your word for it then. Thanks so much, baby. Does that mean you have forgiven me? Yes, I forgive you. I love you, dear. I love you too. Jumbo! Jumbo! Who is this boy? Good evening, Daddy. Uh, good evening. Is it true that Nora came to visit me? I didn't open the door for her. Who is Nora again? My favorite shut up, so you have suddenly forgot who Nora is. Oh, you mean that auntie? Yes. Why did you not open the door for her? Is that what she told you? What kind of stupid question is that? Eh, uh, I did not lock the door against her. I just told her you were not around. What do you mean I was not around? Wasn't I in this house sleeping? If you were around, why didn't you go and open the door by yourself? That means you were not around. What kind of stupid boy is this? Because of you, she has not been answering my calls. Ha, thank God. Though. Let her better not answer. You better pray she answers. That lady is going to be your stepmother soon. God forbid. I don't like that auntie. And what is your business with uh, liking her? Daddy, you better leave that auntie alone. Don't say I did not warn you. You get out of here. Where are these two maids? Good morning, madam. Good morning, madam. Good morning to your miserable selves. Mm. Did you just say mm at me? No, ma. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself, you idiot. Ma, she's very sorry. Will you shut up your trap? Now, who amongst you went to report me to my fiancé? Are you both deaf or is it dumb? 
I did, madam. How dare you? You did. You dare report me to my fiancé as what? Ma, with all due respect, I couldn't understand the reason you have been treating us the way you're doing. We respect you a lot and hold you with so much esteem, but yet you treat us like we are nobody. Are you mad? Did you just talk back at me like that? Madam, please. Shut up. Now, both of you, listen. I'm the other boss in this house. This is my home. And I'm getting married to the man who pays you. The same man who employed you too. In less than two months, we will be fully married. Now, get this straight. If you would not obey me in this house, get ready to leave. If you dare repeat this rubbish with me again, I will make sure you rot in jail. Have I made myself clear? Yes, madam. Have I made myself clear? Yes, madam. Better. Now get out. Look at this cheap girl. What nerve. Rubbish. Yes? Hey, baby. Yes? What is it? Abba, won't you at least welcome me? Welcome you to where? Does this place look like an organization? Why are you talking like this? What do you want in my house? Please, let me come in so we talk. Come into my house? When your son made me stand outside because I came to see you. Say whatever it is here. I'm sorry now. It's my son that did that, not me. Oh, please. Okay, I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. How am I sure that you didn't send him to insult me? I didn't, now. Nah. Why would I do that? Why would I know? Please, why are you here? Face, I came to apologize. You have not been picking my calls. I'm sorry. So you came with ordinary hands to apologize? You are not ready. My love, you know me, now. Nah. I will take you out in. Just forgive me. You are sure you will take me out in? Yes, I will. Just say you forgive me. Eh, yeah, I forgive you. Thank you, baby. I'm coming. Let me change you to something better. Okay. I seriously hate this girl. Just let her be, please. I think it's best we stay away from her. Aren't we trying enough? She's just so troublesome. I don't know how boss would end up with this kind of a woman. I'm sorry she had the mind to hit you like this. As if I was her kid. This girl is making this once peaceful job so unbearable. I'm getting tired already. I might just quit. No, nah. Why would you do that? Why won't I? Why would I allow my fellow woman hit me on the face? As if I'm some kid. I'm sorry, Grace. But you know your plans, right? You have to be patient. I really want to. But it's getting too much. Let's just stay off her path. I will try. But I won't let her hit me again. It's alright. Just calm down. Thanks, dear. Let's go back to our duties. Sure. See you later. I need to clean the living room. Okay. Welcome home. Thanks, Daddy. How are you? I'm okay. Where is Mom? She's upstairs. She will join us. Okay. What is this news I am hearing about you and your fiance? What are you hearing? That you have continued this, your hostile behavior in his house. And you believed him? What kind of stupid question is that? Now listen, young lady. You must set this thing right. If this doesn't work out, then consider yourself out of this house and out of my life. What is your father saying? He is actually saying he would disown me if Daniel ends things with me. I beg, leave him. That is empty threats. I'm not even bothered at all, mom. That's my girl. Yes, oh, mom. How are you dealing with them in that house? Um, I apologized to Daniel to ease him up. Then I'm dealing with those two useless workers, especially that fool, Grace. Exactly what you should do. Trust me, mom. <laughs> Hey, baby. Hey, babe. How are you doing today? Baby, I'm good. How was work? The work is great. I missed you, baby. I miss you too, my dear. Dinner is served. Want to eat now? I had dinner with Tony. I'm not hungry. All right, my love. Guess what, baby? What is it? I can't guess. 
Okay, I'll be going on a trip soon. A trip? To where? I'm thinking France or UK. What's happening there? I'm just going for a vacation there, baby. A vacation? How many vacations do you go in a year? Um, I've gone to like six different countries this year. I still want to visit four others. Hmm. Six countries. Wow. All right, you are free to go. I'm free to go? Just like that? Yes. Okay, fine. I'll give you some money. Like five million. Five million for what? For the trip, of course. Okay, fine. I'll make it to ten million. As what now? You want to give me ten million for vacation? How much then do you need? I use nothing less than fifty to hundred million naira for each trips. What? I don't have that kind of money. Oh, I have that kind of money. But I won't give it to you to waste on useless trip. Bring a business idea and I'll invest a billion naira on it. Are you being serious? You give me that money, oh? I don't have time for this. Good night. You want to fall asleep, Abby? Don't worry, tomorrow we'll talk about it. What kind of woman is this? Hmm. God help me. Good evening, sir. Sir? Eh, hi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm fine, Grace. You don't look fine, sir. You can talk to me. Hmm, it's my fiance. I don't know what to do anymore. I understand. She's a very hot-tempered person. Can you believe she can't even cook? I promise I will teach her. But I don't know if she would let me. Of course, she won't let you. I'm really confused. And what is going on here? Good morning, ma. Are you mad? How dare you say good morning to me, you husband snatcher? Don't start this morning, please. So you have the nerves to discuss me with this low life? Sir, I would leave now. I'm talking and you want to leave. What audacity? How dare you hit her in my presence? Are you mad? Sir, I won't tolerate her hitting me like a child. If this happens again for the third time, I will have no other choice than to quit. See this useless good for nothing. Kit, you are crossing the boundaries. Babes. Babe, there is fire on the mountain, no? What do you mean? I told Daniel about our trip to UK. Wow, what did he say? He said I should go ahead. That he will transfer 10 million for the trip. 10 million won't be enough now. Exactly what I told him. And he fled up saying he can't spend unnecessarily. He went ahead to say I should bring a business plan that he will invest a billion naira on it. What? So a vacation is unnecessary? Honestly, I really don't know. This guy is so selfish. Wow. As rich as he is. All he wants to do is business this, business that. Now wow. I woke up this morning and I found him discussing me with that his low life cook, Grace. What? This is serious, oh. I nearly killed that girl. What rubbish? Forget them, I beg. If he doesn't want to give you the money for the trip, then let it be. Don't go into any business. He's trying to turn you into a foolish businesswoman. Don't try it. But for B, don't you trust me? I trust you. Jumbo! Jumbo! Yes, Daddy. Come here. I'm here already. I'll be traveling soon. To where now? To work in another state. Then, who will stay at home with me? Auntie Nora. Which Auntie Nora? That wicked one. That's your business, oh. All I know is that she'll be staying here for now. She's not staying here. And besides, you have not paid my school fees. I'll pay your school fees when I come back. But that Auntie Nora is not staying here. these girls good afternoon mother where is the other one good afternoon ma you grace why is my lunch not yet served it's still on the fire ma by past 12 you haven't made my lunch you good for nothing what are you good at i'm sorry madam sorry for yourself leave the food anyways and go wash the clothes i kept in my bathroom but madam 
Neither of us are meant to wash your clothes. Will you shut up that your trash you call a mouse? Are you mad? Ma, I'm here to cook and Amaka is here to clean. We weren't paid to wash any clothes. So I'm sorry I can't help you wash your clothes. You are daring me, Grace. You must wash that clothes. Madam, if you would excuse me, I have food on the fire. Look at this girl, oh. She has grown wings in my house. I can see the name I said sleeping with you. In this house, your days are numbered. Ma, can I go now? No, stand like a log of wood. Rubbish. You have not seen anything yet, madam. You are back. Yes, I'm back. How are you? I'm not good at all. What is the problem? It's not those useless house helps. They made a fool of me. What? What do you mean? Today I asked Grace to make lunch. She was so sluggish about it. And I told her to leave lunch and come help me do some laundry. And Grace insulted me and walked out on me. I was so humiliated. Well, you humiliated yourself then. Who told you that Grace or Amaka does laundry around here? They are both cook and cleaner. What? Is that what you have to say? What should I say? Bad enough. You can't even do your laundry by yourself when there is washing machine. Daniel, are you being serious right now? Oh, I'm now Daniel. So you're going to take sides with the girl? Say whatever you like. She didn't offend you. I said it. You are sleeping with that girl, you horrible man. How dare you? I'm sleeping with Grace. How insensitive can you be? I want that girl out of this house. That's only when you are the one paying her. Or that's when you are the one who employed her. It's either her or me. Good night. Rubbish. getting out of hand so she won't change i thought she promised boss that she will change and how did you know that i heard how do you manage to hear all these things don't tell me you eavesdrop yes sometimes i just happen to hear them you have to stop eavesdropping on boss's conversation with his wife to be yeah i know but no but if you are caught paraventure then your job here is over yeah i suppose it is Thank God you know. Most especially since she doesn't like you. That's which. I hate her so much. All she does is walk around the house looking for who to command. I thought she's a lawyer. I thought so too. But she hasn't for once left this house and dressed like she's going to work. Maybe she doesn't work. Or maybe she works from home. That's her business. I just love the way she, you stood up to her. I just had to. She wouldn't turn me into her personal laundry girl. I trust you. Please sit. Yes, sir. How are you both doing? I'm doing well, sir. I'm okay, sir. That's very good. You must be wondering why I called both of you. Yes, sir. There are two reasons why I called both of you out here. First of all, I want to sincerely apologize for how my fiancé has been treating you girls. Most especially you, Grace. I'm really sorry on her behalf. It's alright, sir. We understand. Yes, sir. It's nothing. Thank you very much. Then secondly, I want to urge you both to accord her some respect. She's my fiancé and she has a say in this house. Our wedding is around the corner and I seriously don't want you both disrespecting her. Very soon. She will be in total charge of this house and its affairs. The better you treat her, the better for us all. But sir, we do treat her well. Besides, I don't know why she hates us. I don't think she hates you both. She just has a zero tolerance, taking the fact that she's the only daughter of her wealthy father, Chief Ernest. Sir, you mean Chief Ernest that owns the biggest automobile company in the country? Yes, that one. Wow. Wow. She indeed has zero tolerance with workers, I see. All right, sir. We understand. We promise our best from now on. Thank you for understanding. What is it you want to discuss? Babe, please let's talk about this once and for all. What do you want us to talk about? Us. I'm tired of us fighting. I don't want to talk about anything right now, please. You disrespected me. Okay. I'm so, so sorry. What do you want? I want peace. 
I want us to be happy, babe. Please. Then send Grace away. But I can't send her away. I don't want you stressing yourself cooking for now. Hmm. You have to promise me she won't disrespect me again. She won't. I have talked to them and they promise to be very respectful. You better do. Please, baby, just forgive them. It's fine. I've forgiven them anyways. It that will bring peace. Thanks, my love. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, what did this girl serve us? Grace. Grace. Where is this useless girl? Sir, madam. What did you serve us? Yaman yeah, Exos. How dare you? What do you mean, sir? You want to poison us? What have I ever done to you to deserve this evil? You dare poison our food. Poison your food? I'm confused here. Yes, DPO. Send some officers over now. Someone has tried to poison me and my fiance. Sir, please. I didn't poison you. I have always cooked for you, sir. Say that to the policemen when they arrive. I took you as a sister and did this to me. How could you? Sir, I didn't, please. Listen to me. You are a fool. No wonder I never liked you. You are evil. Oh God, I'm finished. Seems like there's good news. Yes, so my girl, what's up now? I do. Guess what? Talk now, don't keep me in suspense. Grace is out of the house. Oh, wow. This is good news. It's even better, babe. Hey, tell me about it. She's in the police cell. What? What do you mean, what? That is too much. A cell? Please forget that one. No, now. I don't support her staying in the police cell. She deserves it. But she didn't deserve to go to the cell. Whatever, she would remain there. Mm, if that's what you say. Yes. My guy. How far now? My guy, things are happening. What do you mean? Grace tried to poison me and Kate yesterday. What? How do you mean? Yesterday she cooked yam and egg sauce for us and it was tasting like she added detergent to the food. Oh my god. Did you confront her? Yes, I did and she denied doing it. Come to think of it, I don't think Grace could poison you or your fiancé. She has been cooking for you for almost six months now. People change. She hates kids and just yesterday I scolded her Namaka. She must have been angry about it. No, I don't think so. If she was to be angry, it should be when Kate slapped her twice and you said nothing about it. Can't you see? See what? Kate has finally succeeded in sending her out of your house. Kate did this to her. Oh, please. Kate can't do that. I don't like you accusing my fiancé like that. Kate doesn't even enter the kitchen. Okay, oh. Did you send Grace out? No, I arrested her. She must confess and pay for her crime. You did what? That's not right now. Don't say that, I beg. She tried to poison me and my woman. If it was you, maybe you have just sent her packing. But me, she must pay if he eventually she wanted to kill us. It's just a pity. She's suffering for what she knows nothing about. Let her suffer. Hi dear, what's up? I'm good, how are you? I am very well as usual. That's nice. You look stunning. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. This one you asked us to see, hope all is well. Yes, all is well. I heard Grace has been arrested. Yes, so, Kate told me, it's actually so shocking that Grace would try to kill them. I actually don't believe it. Me too. I know she won't do a thing like that. Exactly what I told Kate. Kate is your best friend, right? Of course. 
Did she by any means told you she didn't like Grace? Of course she did. She seems not to like the poor girl. She even wanted her out. But I doubt if she had a hand in this. She should have told me. Why did she want her out? Apparently, Kate thinks Grace is too beautiful and she is so insecure that she feels Grace would take Daniel away from her. What? Why would she think that way? Daniel doesn't even like Grace. Exactly what I told her. Hmm. Hello, babes. Babes, what's up? I'm fine, no, oh, this day ground. What is it? Eh, Tony called me today and said I should meet him somewhere. Eh? He likes you, right? No, that's not it, though. I thought he was even going to ask me out. But he was only concerned about Grace. Grace as how? Tony is suspecting that you framed Grace, and he said he is going to hire a lawyer and an investigator. What? Yes, yeah, so he knows you are the one who framed her up. Oh my God, what kind of rubbish is that? You better fix it up or you are going to jail. That's a pretty joke. I can't go to jail. Don't forget who I am. You better do something then. Leave it to me. All right, though. Bye. Bye. You better do something. Rubbish. Hello? Who is on the line? Oh, Kate, how are you? What do you mean? I still don't understand. Excuse me. I think your call is a mix-up. So you called me to warn me when I know you actually framed Grace. I don't have time battling words with you. Just know I will get to the root of this. Haba, what's the hash tone? I want you to warn that your girlfriend, Abi Fiancé. What do you mean? Can you believe she called me today insulting me over the phone? Oh, I'm so sorry, but that wasn't what she told me. Do I even care what she told you? She told me that you went ahead to ask Lovett if she knew anything about Kate framing her. And Lovett called her asking silly questions. Why would you do that? Because she framed Grace. Can't you see it's crystal clear? Please, Tony. I don't want us to quarrel over this. Kindly back off. Let the police do their job. If she's innocent, let her be. Don't interrogate my fiancé's friend again. Fine. I don't want to hear anything about her ever again. Sort yourself out. That's a deal then. But guess what? I am getting Grace out of that cell. That's if I let you. Watch and see. Babes. Baby, welcome home. Yeah, thanks there. How was work? Work went well. Baby, Tony told me something yesterday. What did he tell you? That you called him to insult him. Yes, I did. I wanted him to stop investigating me. Why would you do that? You forgot Tony is my best friend. So? And I'm your wife to be. Who is more important? Him or me? Both of you. Now, I won't have you insult my friend. Both of you are not mates. But he started it first. Then you should have left it for me to handle. You are taking his side. No, but don't do it next time. Right. Oh, please. I will do it again and again if he doesn't mind his business. Rubbish. Hey dear, what's up? I know Dale. What is the matter? It's Bio. He's still giving me cold feet. I don't know what to do. Haba, after you gave him the 50k he asked for? Yes, and I'm really tired already. I'm so sorry there. What are you going to do? I think I need to beg him. I really love this guy. Beg him? But he didn't do anything wrong. 
I didn't, but maybe I did without realizing it. Well, it's all right. Take her to. I will, my dear. All right. Let me rush off to see him. I'll be back. Okay, dear. Man, this relationship is not working out at all. I mean, this relationship is trash. There is no feelings. Things are not just working out for me. I'm not that happy man I used to be. Kate is definitely not the woman for me. I mean, she's pretty, but she's nothing more than pretty. She doesn't have that womanly love and care every man seeks for. She's just so dry. Oh God, please, get out of my life for good. I'm losing friendships all because of this woman. Hey baby. I want to be left alone, please. What's the problem? I said get out of here, I need to be alone. Okay, oh. Hey, baby. What is it? My love, please, what is the matter? Why are you asking me? Please, I don't like your mood. If it's because of me, I'm sorry. You are always sorry, but yet you won't change. I promise to change. I even wanted to tell you that I have decided to get a job and also attend cooking classes. I'm changing because of us. I want us to work. So, you mean you want to get a job? Yes, baby. I've talked to my dad and he has promised to secure a place for me. Oh, wow. I'm so happy for these babes. Yeah, and also, I decided to start a weekend cooking class. Baby, you would do this for us? Yes. Wow. Yes, baby. And also, we will be attending class for engaged partners. It's every Sunday by 2 p.m. Oh my God, baby. I really like the sound of that. I know you would like it, so please forgive me. I'm working towards being a better person. Thank you so much. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> Now wow, so this is how this gay has run me dry. The contract I was even hoping for, I didn't get it. Love isn't really this painful. I have lost a lot because of this gay. Uh -huh, daddy, I heard you talking to someone. How is it your business now? How can someone be talking to himself now? My friend, will you shut up? You are not my problem at all. Then what is your problem? My friend, leave here. I know, is that auntie. She has left you, Abby. My friend, will you shut up? I know you love her, but she doesn't love you. What do you know about love? I know a lot. Look at this little boy, yo. Daddy, I'm not a small boy, yo. I leave here now. Okay, yo. but there is no food in this house. What have I done to myself? I really feel guilty making another girl pass through hell, all in the name of making her leave a house she works. Why is Kate so insecure? Upon all her money, she's still insecure. No, I won't let her treat that poor girl like that, just because she doesn't have anybody. I don't know why Daniel hasn't sent her out yet. Rubbish girl. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. How are you doing today? I really don't know what answer to give. Hmm, you remember me? I'm trying to. You look a bit familiar. Oh, I'm your madam's friend. Love it. Oh, okay, now I remember. I'm Grace. I know. Your madam told me what happened. I swear I didn't try to poison them. I'm innocent. I know you are innocent. You know? How did you know? Because I'm a lawyer, just like your madam. But unlike her, I work and I have an office, but she isn't aware. I knew you didn't try to poison them, because according to her, you have been there cooking for more than six months. So you can't possibly poison them. Ah, oh, thank God. Someone is understanding me. We think, did someone enter the kitchen that very day you made that food? Not at all. I only left the kitchen to the boys' quarter. After I had finished cooking, to have my bath. What did you go to the boys' quarters to do? That's where I and Amaka stay. Amaka is the cleaner. I see. Well, don't worry. We will try to get you out of here. 
Won't Madam Kate be mad at you? I guess she doesn't want me out of here. Leave it to me. I will see to that. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay. And how is my baby doing? I'm very much well. How was work today? Work was great, thanks. All right, babe. Babe, can we talk about something? Yes, why not go on? About Grace. What about Grace? I think it's time we bail her out. I don't really think she has any family apart from Amaka. If not, they would have come for her. So what are you saying? I think we should bail her. That doesn't mean she'll work here anymore. I say a total no to that. She has to remain there until she confesses her crime. Is it because I didn't press charges against her or I didn't involve my parents in this matter? This has to do with us, not your parents. But she tried to poison me. Let her remain there. Can't we ever agree on something together as a couple? If this is the case, so... If this is the case, no, we can't. I always knew you had a soft spot for that girl. I don't ever want to hear her name again. And you will not bail her, never. You will never change. Hey dad, hey mom. My princess, how are you doing? As you can see mom, I'm very well. You're looking good. How is Daniel? Dad, Daniel is okay. He sent his greetings. Alright my child. How is that your cook? Has she been released? Released from where? Oh, dad didn't know. She was arrested. By who? What happened? This girl tried to poison I and Daniel. She served us lunch and when we had the first taste, the first red like detergent was added to it. What detergent? Yes, Daddy. So we arrested her. This sounds like a conspiracy. Even if she wanted to poison you both, it wouldn't be detergent. I mean, detergent can easily be detected. I'm sure the poison she tried to use was so fixed. How long has she been working for Daniel? Six months or so. Hmm, something is definitely wrong. I think someone put detergent in her food just to get her out of that house. We are not many in that house. She's the only one who enters the kitchen. Well, I hope this whole thing is well investigated before you end up sending an innocent girl to jail. Like I care. She should just stay there un until she confesses her crime. Exactly, mom. I know you will take her side. <laughs> My babes. What's up, girl? I'm, I'm good. How far now? I'm great. Look how you are glowing. Exactly what I should be doing. Never to be caught on fresh. Yes, so that's my girl. I'm really just so excited. My wedding is just a month away from today, so it's time to start all the planning. Yes, so I was even going to say that. How about a wedding planner? Yes, we talked yesterday. She has sent me a few wedding gowns. Oh, wow. Hope they are all imported. Of course, one is from Paris and few from London. Have you picked any? Nah, not yet. I still want a few selection. I know you. You want nothing but the best. We deal with the best. I told her to get me the best collection of wedding gowns. Yes, so nothing but the best, babes. And I'm still thinking of the whole to use. I guess I'll just wait for her choices and I'll pick from them. Just leave things to her. She's one of the best wedding planners in Nigeria. I guess. <laughs> My very good friend, welcome. We thank you, my friend. How are you? We thank the Almighty. Indeed, indeed. So how is the family? You're okay. Thank God. Yes, so has your daughter discussed the wedding preparation with you? Not at all, but she made mention of a wedding planner the other time. I guess she left everything in the hands of a wedding planner. 
Well, that's what everybody do these days. The stress of planning a wedding will be too much on them. Exactly, my friend. Least I forget, Daniel made mention of a cook he employed who tried to poison them. Yes, Kate told me as well, and the story sounds fabricated. How would someone try to poison someone with detergent? Exactly my thoughts. She should have got some real poison instead. Someone put detergent in the food to frame her. I guess Kate and Daniel are too young to understand this. Someone under that roof doesn't seem happy with that girl. Yes, but we'll let them handle it their own way. They will learn with time. Of course. Hello, my love. Hello, baby. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. This one you came to my house after two weeks. Yes, I came here to say hi to you. I've missed you so much. Same here, but you have been staying away from me for a while now. It's not like that. The thing is that I've been very busy. Busy with what? You don't work or school? I know, just normal busy. Okay. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Hey, baby, I came to ask you for something. What is it? I need some money. I want to change my hair. It's old. Money? Yes, money. I don't have a dime on me right now. It's just 20k. I know you have it. Even 100 that I don't have. I have used my last cobo to pay my son's school fees and restock this house. So you can pay that your son's school fees and yet you can't take care of me. Are you more important than my son? And haven't I been giving you enough money? You must be stupid to say that. So you mean you are broke, Abby? Yes, I'm broke. Very, very broke. I don't blame you at all. I have learned my mistake. I would never spend on a gold digger like you. I should have known. Rubbish. Bish, is he mad? So MG is broke. Of course he's not. He just wants me to believe he's broke. Who is corrupting his mind towards me? Because I don't understand this sudden change. Babe, what's wrong? I heard a voice from inside the house. It's not that stupid MG. You know Bayo asked me for 20k. Yes, I know. And I went to MG's house to see if he would give me the money, but no way. He told me to my face that he's broke. What? MD has never turned down your request now? He has never. It's obvious someone is behind this. I'm so sorry, my dear. Are you sure you're not the one? I would never do that to you. But you almost did before. That was before. Well, I must get to the bottom of this, I swear. What rubbish. Someone wants to spoil my hustle. Please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, I beg. I want to calm down. I'm glad End is coming to his senses. Hey, babe. Hey, what's up? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay, baby. You came home early. It's past 12. Yeah, I came to get my credit card. I need to visit the bank. Okay, baby. See you later. Kate, Kate. So you now address me as Kate. How dare you? You went to the mall with my credit card and shopped to 25 million. Yes, is there anything wrong with that? What's your problem? Did you keep any money in my account? What nerves? I had the right to use your money, don't I? What useless right do you have? You're not even married to me yet. So you're screaming because of common 25 million? Oh, I should have known you are the only one with me in this house. I just made a fool of myself in the bank. You didn't ask if I used it in the first place. And you and I can't work. This whole relationship thing won't work.
You are joking, young man. You and I together forever. Son of his father. Good evening, Dad. How are you doing, son? How can I be fine when you have started to make me die young? What do you mean, son? That girl you asked me to marry, she's a beast. A very bad choice, father. Oh, it's Kate. What has she done this time? Father, she took my credit card to a mall and spent 25 million naira in two hours without my permission. What? Why would she do that? I'm sorry, son. It's not about to be sorry, Dad. I want her out of my house and out of my life. Why are you making this difficult? 25 million is nothing to get. She can actually afford 10 times that amount. You should be happy she decided to use those. What? They are taking her side. What kind of woman spends 25 million naira in two hours for unnecessary things? Since she already have. Son, is 25 million naira actually your problem? Okay, I will send you 50 million immediately. I don't need it. All I want is that spoiled girl out of my house. It won't work while I'm off. You don't have a choice, son. Your friends, baby. Hey, best friend. How far? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Guess what? What? I got the bag that you wanted. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yes, apparently. I went shopping today. Aw, and you never mentioned it to me. I'm sorry, baby. It was a personal shopping. I got you a few things, including that bag, for you. Thanks so much, babes. I used Daniel's credit card for the shopping and he fled up. He was so angry because I used common 25 million out of his money. Is he that selfish? I tire with my sister. I beg, leave that one. When should I come for my stops? I'll bring them tomorrow, don't worry. All right, dear. Bye. Bye. Thank God you are back. Hey, baby. I'm sorry. I went to get some food. I seriously don't care. Go inside, get your bags, and get out of my house. I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, you seriously don't have to bother about packing your stuff. They are well packed and arranged. Just pick them up and get out of my house. Why would you send me out of your house? Are you insane? Oh, you want to know if I'm insane? Just wait. What? Here is the bag. Take it and get out of my house. Baby, are you serious? You, you want me to leave? Yes, and don't come back here because if I see you here, I swear I'm going to deal with you. Oh my God. And quit every wedding plans you have going on because you and I, we are done. There is no more relationship. There is no more marriage. Look who wants me out of his life. I promise you will come back crawling to me. Too late. We are done. In fact, you disgust me so much. Seriously, you regret this. Get out of my house. Fine, if that's what you want. <music> Ah, babes, why are you crying? And you're with your bags. Babes, what is wrong? It's Daniel. He called off our engagement. What? Are you serious? Why? Yes. Before I came back from the restaurant, he had my bags packed and asked me to leave. Oh no, this is serious. Lovette, I'm finished. I love Daniel so much. I don't want to lose him. You won't lose him. He sounded like he's done. He asked me never to come back into his life. I'm finished. Don't say that, Kate. Daniel loves you. He definitely just needs time. He doesn't anymore. The look on his face showed that he was so tired. So tired of me. I'm sorry, babes. I seriously know that Daniel can't dump you. Your parents won't let him. Please don't give me any more hope. He's done with me. I've pushed him to the wall enough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cynthia. MD, how are you doing? 
I'm good though. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to my house. This is why you visited me. Hope all is well. Yes, all is well. I came concerning Nora. What happened to Nora? Is she okay? Yes, she's okay. She told me you've been avoiding her. How am I avoiding her? Is it because I stopped giving her money? I don't know. She said you've changed drastically and she's really feeling bad about it. Yes, I changed from being a fool. I have come back to my sense. Go and tell her that I still love her. But you see money, I don't have. I don't have money to give her, except we are both married. And why did you stop giving her money? I thought you liked it. Yes, until I realized all she ever cared for is the money. If she loved me, let her love me like that without money. Okay, if you say so, I will pass your message. Yes, please do. I'll be on my way now. <laughs> Won't you wait? Let me entertain you. No, thank you. I'm fine, MD. Are you sure? Yes, MD. Take care. Hey, my man. Hey. Haha. <laughs> so you now greet me with hey. But you greeted me with hey. Why did you call me here? Honestly, Tony, I seriously want to apologize for the other time. I have Ed. Can I go now? Tony, please now. Seriously, I'm sorry. Daniel, I am seriously mad at you. How could you let Kate frame Grace just like that? I still don't know. I don't have a proof. And besides, Kate doesn't even enter the kitchen. Guy, I'm sorry. You believed her over me, your friend. I'm sorry, honestly. And besides, we are done. There is no marriage and there is no relationship anymore. What? Why? That girl is nothing like the woman I wish to have. She is just something else. Can you believe that girl took my ATM card and went shopping? She spent 25 million naira in two hours. Jesus Christ, what kind of useless spending is that? I was so mad that I sent her out. We are done. My dad still wants me to marry her, but I'm done. Man, a lot has been going on with you. A lot, my man. Well, I am glad you made the decision. I have made up my mind. Oh God, why me? Why have you forsaken me? I've been here for weeks. Would I ever leave this place? Who tried to frame me? God, please, take me out of here. I cannot suffer for the crime I didn't commit. Please, God, help me. Because it seems like everyone abandoned me. Mom, why do you have to leave me alone in this world? I feel so lonely. <laughs> Good evening, Ma. I'm not Ma. I'm Lovet. How are you? How can I be fine? I've been in this place for weeks now. Nobody is coming for me. Not even my boss. I'm seriously sorry, my dear. I've been forsaken. I don't think my conscience would let me keep this anymore. What do you mean? Your madam has been really jealous of you. What? Why is she jealous of me? She has everything I don't have. That is not it. She is really jealous of how beautiful you are and how much of a great cook you are. She badly wanted you out of her way in that house. So I kind of suggested to her that she should frame you. What? Oh my god. Why do you both want to take me out of the job and still frame me? What have I done? I'm sorry. My conscience has been killing me, so I decided to complain. I'm so sorry. Kate was the one who used your friend to frame you. Which friend? I don't have any friend that could frame me. Amaka, apparently, he paid her a huge amount of money to sneak into your kitchen and put detergents in the food. What? A -a Amaka framed me? Yes, she did. Kate made her do it. She threatened her. Oh no! I trusted Amaka. I trusted Amaka. <laughs> Don't blame her. She was threatened. What did I ever do to Kate? I was so nice to her. She hates you so much. I just needed you to forgive me. I'm sorry. I will try and bail you out. Just leave. Leave here right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Amaka had a hand in this. 
she betrayed me oh god <laughs> Hey, I'm finished. Nora, why are you screaming? I'm finished, Cynthia. Hey, whoa. Hey. <laughs> what happened? Come down and talk to me. Bayo has killed me. What did Bayo do? He has rejected the pregnancy. Which pregnancy? Ha, are you pregnant? Yes, Cynthia, I'm pregnant. Two months gone. Hey, whoa. Why would Bayo deny the pregnancy? He said he is not ready to be a father. He had he already had four children from different mothers. What? What are you going to do? Put it on MD, of course. I don't know how I'll take care of this child alone. Why would you do that? Because I don't have a choice. MD is the father. This is bad. Don't leisure me, please. I've decided to do this and no one will stop me. This is getting out of hand, though. You are here. Hey baby, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What can I offer you? Hmm, nothing. Came to discuss something with you. Okay, I'm all ears. My love, you're expecting child. I'm pregnant. What? You are pregnant? Yes, baby. Wow, this is a good news. I'm so happy, babe. Oh, I thought you wouldn't want the baby. Why would I reject my child? I am very happy. Ha, thank God. I'm really happy. I'm happy too. Hi mom. Hi baby, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good and you? I'm fine. And why are you here with your bags? Mom, let me call the marriage. What? Why? Just because I used his credit card, mom. Just 25 million naira. Just 25 million naira? How dare him? And he chased you out. What is going on here? Dad, Danny has called up the wedding. Just because she used his 25 million naira to get herself a nice clothes. What? He used his money without his permission? Of course, dad. Isn't he my fiancé? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're good for nothing. You feel me in everything. Don't talk to my daughter like that. What kind of father are you? This your father, eh? Danny, what am I hearing? How am I supposed to know what you are hearing, Dad? Kate's father called me. He said you sent his daughter out of the house. Oh, you felt I was joking when I told you the whole thing is over. How dare you disregard my orders? Sorry, Fire. I've pleased you all my life. Since after Mom died, I need to live for myself and not for you. I won't let you destroy my future and that of my kids because of your selfish interest. You must marry Kate. Over my dead body, Father. You won't force a poorly trained and ill-mannered girl on me. Never. Then get ready to wage war with me. Dad, please. I can't marry that girl. Ask of me any other thing and I'll do it. You have no choice, son. You must marry Kate and that's final. Then Never, father. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But it won't work. Then get ready to be disowned. I will not have you disrespect me. I made you who you are and you must do as I say. I won't do what you say. I'm an adult. It's either you marry that girl or you cease to be my son. So be it. Vacate the office and all the properties which bear my name. Great then. Thank God you didn't build that house and inn with your money. Neither did you buy any of my cars for me. I will return the documents to your estate. And I cease to be the CEO of any company. And I cease to be your son. I can survive on my own, sir. You will come back crawling.
You useless child. You brought shame to me. I'm not useless, father. What are you even good for? You couldn't keep a man, a job, or even a life. I tried with Daniel. He's always nagging. Shut up your mouth, you shameless thing. I'm sorry, dad. It wasn't my fault. I don't know what is wrong with me. You have caused me sorrow. I'll go talk to Chief Bassi. Maybe he will help talk to his son. I have talked with him. Oh, really, dad? He disowned Daniel because of you. Daniel vowed never to marry you and he disowned him. What? What more harm can you do to people who come near you? You are an ingrate, Kate. I'm sorry, Dad. Be sorry for yourself, Kate. Look where everything has ended you. I'm so sorry, Dad. What have I done? Good evening, sir. What is it, Damaka? Sir, are you okay? Yes, what's the matter? Sir, I have a confession to make. A confession? Yes, sir. Okay, go on. Sir, I was the one who put the detergent in the food to frame Grace. What? Why? Who sent you? No one, sir. I can't watch her suffer for what she didn't do. I was the one who did it. What? Why? Who sent you? It was Auntie Kate. Ma, good day. Good day. I need you to do me a favor. A favor? What can I possibly do for you? I want you to sneak into that kitchen when Grace is done cooking and put detergent in the food. What? Madam, I can't do that. How dare you? Are you mad? Do you want to lose your job? I'd rather lose my job than betray my friend. Okay, I know what your problem is. Don't worry, I will give you 500,000 naira. I still can't do it, madam. One million naira then? One million naira? Hmm, but what if I'm caught? No one will catch you. Don't worry, just go. Hmm, hmm. Okay, madam. I will do it. Good girl, now go. What? How could she? Both of you are going to jail. Hello, DPO. So, send some of your boys down here. There's a criminal you need to arrest. Sir, please, I did not mean to do it. You betray your friend for a millionaire, and she has been in jail for up to a month now. I'm sorry, sir. Please. Say that to your friend when you meet her. Hey, whoa. I am finished, though. sir good evening grace how are you i'm okay sir i've come to take you out sir please i did not do it please don't take me to court i'm not taking you to court i'm taking you home home how amaka confessed to me a few hours ago that she was the one who framed you she was instructed by my ex-fiancee it's true amaka was the one who did this to me has someone told you before yes sir Madam Kate's friend came here to see me twice. She told me it was Madam who told Amaka to frame me. I'm seriously sorry, Grace. I should have known all this while. What did I ever do to Amaka? She collected money to betray me. I'm sorry. Kate and I are no longer together. We are done. What? Sir, why? I can't do it anymore. And you can call me Daniel instead of Sir. Okay, Sir. Uh, I, I mean Daniel. Please, can I see Amaka before we go? Yes, you can. I'll be waiting for you in the car. Okay, thanks. Grace, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. How could you? How could you do this to me? I'm so sorry. I never meant to. She threatened me. Oh, shut up. She didn't. She paid you. Look, Grace, I'm sorry. Beg boss to get me out of here. No, not until you suffer the pain I went through in here. You backstabbing friend. Please, Grace. I'm so sorry, please. You must suffer for what you did. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. I forgive you, Amaka. But you must stay in here and suffer for your crimes. Please, uh, Grace, please. I regret ever trusting you like a sister. I'm sorry, please. I'm out of here. Wicked girl. 
Oh, what have I gone to myself? Oh. Hi. What are you doing here, you monster? Oh, please keep your voice down. What do you want from me? How did Daniel find out? Of course I told him. You did what? Why are you so foolish? Are you here to insult me? Why should I? I mean, did you tell him I sent you? What kind of stupid question is that? Please answer me. You made me do this to Grace. God, I'm so stupid. Did you tell Daniel it was me? Yes, I did. I told him everything, exactly how it happened. And he's coming for you. He will soon be in prison just like me. Ewo! If you like faint, you will still be in the same jail as me. Hello? Yes, you are speaking to Chief Ernest. Yes, she's my daughter. What? Oh my god, I am coming right away. Hmm, what a life. Kate has leukemia. After 27 years, Amanda did this to me. She has rendered me completely useless. I don't have a child of my own after all. I have been training another man's child for 27 years. I am doomed. Life is not worth living anymore. Amanda, I shall not be well with you. How are you doing, Grace? I'm great, thanks. How's your new apartment? Hope you like it. Of course, I like it. Thanks a lot for everything. You are most welcome. Thanks for coming out with me. It's nothing at all. So tell me, what would you like to have? Just give me a drink then. Alright, it will be served soon. Thanks. Welcome. Would you mind to tell me about yourself? I barely know anything about you. Well, nothing is really interesting about me. I'm a graduate of food management, 28 years old. My hobbies, obviously, are cooking and reading. I'm a total introvert, though. I lost my mom six years ago. I'm really sorry about your mom. Thanks. It's all in the past. And um, what about your dad? Haven't met him, but my mom told me he was a good man. But they couldn't marry because they didn't match at all. Dad was from a wealthy home. And he was already married at that time. She got pregnant and she told him she would abort the baby. But she didn't because she always wanted to be reminded of the love they shared. That's a sad love story. Of course. So tell me about yourself. I will after we finish the meal. I'm only having a drink. No, please eat something. Okay, fine. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. And how is the baby? The baby is fine. Yeah, I called you here for us to talk. Okay, what do you want to talk about? The baby, of course. How far have you gone? Two months. I wow, I can't believe I'm going to be a father of another child. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Or uh, isn't the baby mine? Of course, it's yours. Then you will have to keep it. Keep what? The baby, of course. Over my dead body, I'm not keeping this child. I'm not ready to be a mother at all. I'm sorry, you can't abort my baby. Watch me do it and you will give me money for it. You must be out of your mind, Nora. What's up, bro? How far now? I am good. How far? I do. 
Tell me the reason you called this meeting and why I have not been seeing you in the office for two weeks. Meeting indeed. I didn't believe my dad disowned me because I refused to marry Kate. So I left the office. What? And you never bothered to tell me until now? My guy, I don't want to bother you, Joe. I'm glad I left Kate, even if it means losing everything. Wow, this is serious. Very serious. Plus, I found love. I beg, I beg. This is exactly what you said about Kate. And now you are saying it again. I am not interested in your love story. I'm in love with this girl for a while now. Who is she? Grace. Which Grace? Your cook? Yes, I love Grace. But I guess Kate couldn't let me leave, have her. Guy, are you sure? Nobody say after three weeks now, you go say you don't like her again. I love her for real. And you are still keeping her in that cell. Oh, I didn't tell you. It was actually Amaka and Kate who did the whole thing. You don't mean it. I told you, didn't I? A lot has been going on, oh. A lot, too. Honey, Kate is in the hospital. The doctor said that she has leukemia. Yes, the doctor said so. And you didn't tell me? Where did she get that kind of disease from? I don't understand. Does anyone in your family have the disease? No, na. Who is Kate's father? I don't understand. Is she your daughter? How dare you? You made me take care of another man's child for 27 good years. I still don't know know, know what you you mean. Kate is, is our daughter. Your daughter? No wonder she's like that. You know what? Get your things and get out of my house. Don't do it any of my cards or credit cards. Your name has been removed from my company's paybook. Your account has been frozen. Please, honey, please. I can't leave, please. There's an apartment at the estate you can live in for now. I'm against divorce and I, as it would spoil my image. But I don't want to have anything to do with you. Please leave before I come back in the evening. Oh God, I'm finished. Honey, please forget. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening. Mom, Dad, why is this place so quiet? Oh, I wonder what she's still doing here. Maybe she's waiting for you. Waiting for me? Where are we going? To meet your father, of course. What's this joke? Mom, what's Daddy saying? Uh-huh, uh uh-huh. Uh -huh. She can't say anything again, though. Mom, please answer me. Is he not your father? Your father died from leukemia 25 years ago. Jesus, this is a joke, right? I mean, I've only had one father all my life, and he's the one sitting down here. He is not. <laughs> I was pregnant for someone else. Mom, you've killed me. You have rendered me useless. I died. You haven't been a good mother to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, my princess. I have gotten an apartment for you and your mom in one of my estates. You can go there and leave. I don't want to have anything to do with you both. Drop the car keys and the credit cards. Dad, please don't do this. If I come back and I meet you here, I will have to throw you out. You wicked woman, you have destroyed my life for good. I would rather suffer than to stay with you. Hey, I'm finished. <laughs> Hey there. Hi. Been a while I came here. Yeah, this house misses you. I miss here too. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. You sounded really tense on the phone. Yeah, I really want to ask you this important question. Yeah, I'm all ears. Girl, seriously, I love you. I've always did. I don't think I can stay one more day without you in my life, Grace. Please marry me. What? 
Don't say no, Grace. I love you so much. Of course, I will marry you. Thank you so much. Hello, son. Hello, sir. Oh, come on, don't call me, sir. I'm your dad. Father disowned me over a girl. I'm sorry about that. I made a huge mistake. How do you mean? Kate is not actually Chief Ennis's daughter. Her father died of leukemia and now she has inherited the disease. What? So Kate is not his daughter? After everything he has done for her? I really pity him. Uh, oh no. I'm so sorry for him. Me too. He's childless after all. Well, now I can marry who I love. You want to get married? Who is she? Her name is Grace. Bring her over tomorrow. I would love to meet her. Sure, Dad. See you. See you soon. Nice to meet you, my daughter. You are very beautiful. Thank you, sir. Dad, I knew you would like her. Of course she's a nice girl. If you would excuse me, I would like to take a call. Sure, babes. Hello, my friend. My friend, how are you faring? I'm okay, my friend. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Daniel. I'm glad you reconciled with your father. Of course, I'm happy too. Kate wasn't worth the stress. Daniel has moved on. He came with his wife to be. Oh, wonderful. Where is she? Here she comes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my child. Grace, meet Kate's supposed father. Ennis, meet Grace, Daniel's fiancé. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, my dear. You look just like a woman I know. Where are you from? I'm from Anambra State, sir. Anambra State? Is your mom, is your mother's name Sarah? Yes, sir. You look so much like her. Who is your father? I never met him, sir. Why? My mom told me he was married and they had an affair. She said she got pregnant for him and promised him she was going to remove the pregnancy. But she didn't. She wanted to keep the love they shared by keeping me. But I didn't get to meet my dad. What? Sarah didn't remove the child. How old are you? 28, sir. I'll be 29 in six months. You're my child. Sarah had kept my baby. I don't understand. I was the man she was pregnant for. I left her when my father arranged for me to marry Amanda. What? You mean Grace here is your daughter? Yes, she is. Thank you, Jesus. You've not forgotten me. Where is your mom? You are my dad? Oh, God. My mom died six years ago. This is unbelievable. You are Grace's father. My son was meant to marry your daughter after all. The doctor called. The DNA matched. Oh, wow. I finally met my dad. I'm happy to meet my child. Today, you have brought me joy. So I've decided to build you a catering school since you, have, since you have passion for cooking. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome. There's a lot of things I want to do for you. For 28 years of your life, of your life, you have worked hard. I wish I had met Sarah again. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Dad, what about Kate and her mom? Aren't you going to forgive them? Kate is still your daughter, Dad. I don't want to talk about them. Yes, Kate is not my daughter, and I have done enough for her already. Please, take them back. I'm sure they learned their lessons enough. Well, I will think about that. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Grace. You came. You look good. Thank you. Yeah, I came to get you out. Let's go home. Thank you so much, Chris. I am so sorry. It's all right. It's in the past now. Thank you. Welcome. How come you look so good? Well, I met my father. What? Oh, who is he? He is Chief Ernest. The multi-millionaire. Isn't he Katie's father? No. Kate's mother had kids for another man and put the pregnancy on my father. 
Oh wow, this is so surprising. How come? It's a long story. I'll explain later, dear friend. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. Let's go home. Kate, there is no food in this house. Oh, babe, you know I don't have any money. Then sell your expensive clothes. I can't be feeding you for free for weeks. Or better still, get a job. Babes, please, I will try raise some money. Then you eat when you bring money. I haven't even been paid this month. What? Which payment? You work? Oh, you don't know? You feel I'm as foolish as you are? Of course, my dear, I work. I'm a lawyer and I work for a firm. I've always been working. Jesus Christ, love it. Oh, please, don't love it me. You are sure a wicked soul. You fooled me. Hey, don't you dare insult me. You never wanted to work, so I supported you. You were the Bologna daughter, right? Now that you're not anymore, why don't you start working your head out? I can't believe this. You backstabber. How dare you slap me? Pack your things and get out. Of course I will leave, but I will deal with you, I promise. Oh, get out. You can't do anything. You are just so broke. We will see. Hey dear, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. Daddy, good afternoon. Daddy, please. Please forgive me for everything I've done, for every pain I've caused you. Just take me back. I don't care if it's as a cleaner. Dad, please forgive her. She's sorry. Grace, what are you doing here? Kate is here. Kate, yes, my lost daughter. What? That's not true. Yes, it's true. Grace, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Don't send me away, please. It's fine, Kate. I forgive you for everything. You're my sister, after all. Please stand. Thank you. Please help me beg, Dad. Dad, please. Fine. I forgive you, my dear. Please stand up. Grace, take her inside. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Daddy. Grace has brought me so much joy. Yes? Babes, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you, but we can never cross paths. I thank God for giving me a second chance. Please, I'm honestly sorry for treating you that way. Lovett, go. I forgive you, but don't ever come back. Oh, I was such a bad friend to her. I guess it's fit. Who is that, sis? No one important, sis. Thank you so much, Grace, for forgiving us and giving us another chance. You are such a lifesaver. Thank you so much. I promise to become a better person for us, for Dad. Thank you, my child. You're welcome, Mom. We're all family now, and we should have our backs, no matter what. You are right, my child. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. Hello, brother-in-law. Baby. We have to go for the wedding shots now. Oh wow. Give me a minute, let me get ready. <laughs> <laughs> 